guys, today we're going to be unboxing packages from you. Hey everyone, it's me X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new doll and toy related videos multiple times every week. And in today's video, we have our long awaited P.O. Box haul. So for context, I have a public mailbox. Anybody can send me anything they want and I will open it on camera. Um, the P.O. Box has been like blocked up, backed up for a long, long time. And I have explanations for this, but I'm not going to bore you with it. Uh, but basically, I was saving these packages for Christmas after a certain point, And then I got really sick over Christmas. So we're here. We're going to open them. We're going to get up through at least half of the packages today. And then there will be another video probably next week where you'll get to see the rest of the packages. So anyway, without further ado, let's just get started. So first, let's start with the card. So this card has really cute little cats all over it. And just get into it. Sorry y'all, I'm always so like, ooh, I need something to say while I'm gonna get open. So I'm always like, well, I have information and it's a name, but I'm not, obviously I'm not gonna say that. Um, I love the cat theme all over. It's so cute. Okay, so we have a note. It says, hello, I had recently been recommended your channel by my friend Ash and have to say you have quickly become one of my favorite YouTubers. I love hearing about the specifics and thank you. <laughs> um, I love hearing about the specifics and depths of the doll community as a more casual collector myself. But beyond that, you just come across as a genuine, and down to earth person in all of your videos. When I saw you have a PO box, I got really excited because I never had the chance to send people PO box mail until now. I really hope you enjoyed the drawing, <gasps> plus stickers I included. By the way, the Monica sticker was drawn by me too. Anyway, yeah. Oh my God, <laughs> I say that all the time. <laughs> um, I wish you all the best and can't wait to see what you will make in the future. Best, Allie. And um, it says there's a public art account, P-I-R-I-N Miku, and I will link that in the description as well. So, okay, artwork, artwork, artwork. It's my baby. Oh my God. I love the sticker collage. I love my little princess baby. This is my favorite sticker. Oh, I love your style. This is so cool. Is this done with like alcohol markers? And it says to Brooke from Allie 2024. She's actually like butt facing me right now, but like, this is so cool. Thank you. I love artwork of my baby. It's so, oh, I love it. All the stickers are so cool too. Okay. And then allegedly we have Monica art, which is super exciting. So, oh my God. Okay. So we have a bunch of this Motimaru character, um, which is probably like a famous cat and a very, very cute cat, but my cat's cuter. <laughs> this cat probably gets more fan art, but we can change that. <laughs> and then, oh my God, cute. I almost thought Cuba was an espion. That art style is so cute. <gasps> I have a blank spot. Maybe. Maybe. I'm scared to put more on here, though, because eventually, like, I won't use, like, I don't know, the cup could, like, break in half or something, and then I've lost all my stickers, but, oh my god, this is so cute. I love this. Ah, your art rocks. I love how different the styles are, but you can still, like, tell it's the same artist. Oh my gosh, okay. And then we have this really silly Care Bear sticker. I just love, like, something about it just being a PNG is funny to me. And the same with this little Winnie the Pooh plush one. And then we have this cat one, and then another of that other cat from before. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Also, I just have to point this out. The stickers. It's Brooke. It's so cute. And you included the E at the end. Thank you. Well, to be fair, it's in my address, so I would hope. But you'd be surprised. With my family specifically, you guys always get the E, and I appreciate it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so, so much. My baby. I wish she'd look. We'll get her. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my god. I am not worthy. <laughs> um, I really, really appreciate uh, you sending this and reaching out. It's so sweet. Um, it's been a while since I've opened one of these, so I'm not used to how nice they are. <laughs> that was a one to start with, huh? <laughs> okay, I've got a few more cards, but next we're gonna do this 
envelope. So I ripped some of these open in advance so that the video would run a little bit smoother. So this one, we need to dig out the node. It is so hard, by the way, when you have packages sitting like this to not look inside, but I did it. I didn't look inside. I did it for you guys. We have our note. So it says, hi, Brooke. My name is, I think it says Noah, and I'm not going to say the last name of... Um, and I'm from Kentucky. I'm a fairly new collector with my first doll being 10th anniversary limited edition Rapunzel. What a great one. Um, it was the review you did that, oh, that made me start following your channel. With so many collectors being toxic and more fond of tearing a design down rather than just giving their thoughts, it was nice to come across someone with a platform who keeps their opinions positive um, and being respectful when their opinions are negative. Thank you. I know. For me, like, ultimately, there's, there's, like, real, I mean, in general, there's people behind these things. So even if I personally just think something is just not for me in any way and it's ugly to me, that doesn't mean that it's not, like, somebody else's favorite or somebody else, like, put a lot of passion and work into it. So even if I'm, like, I think this was a really bad decision, in my opinion, it takes away from the doll. I, I try to present that in a way that's not... Um, like overly like snippy because I don't know dolls are like we like dolls for a reason like they're fun they're positive they're light things so I don't like to bring it into like a negative way um also I'm very ju I just like dolls like even if one has something that I can't stand about them it's still a doll <laughs> I'm still happy about it it's very rare that I just don't like it uh, anyway while watching your videos I noticed you've said Torlight is your favorite g3 ghoul yeah <laughs> recently I finished crocheting a set of monster high dolls crocheting Draculaura, Frankie, Claudine, Cleo, and Laguna, and recently Torelai. Since I've been wanting to send you something for a while, I thought I might as well ship the most ferocious feline herself, Torelai. I hope you enjoy your new collection. If you want to see any of my other dolls, check out the Instagram. Okay, so it's Danny underscore rainbow underscore doll underscore shop. I will link that in the description as well. And there is a drawing of Torelai right there. I've said this in other videos, like anytime crochet is brought up, because I just think it's funny. I respect anyone who can do a craft like that, like knitting, crocheting, anything like that, because my grandma is this amazing crochet artist. Like she can make the most amazing, like huge Afghan quilts and stuff. She tried to teach me and you know, she is so good <laughs> and I can't do it. I just can't. I can make one of those chains and I can do a great job. I can make a consistent, beautiful chain. But I can't do anything else. Like, I don't know. I can't figure out how to make the chain, like, connect to make a different pattern. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> but my grandma used to work in, like, a really high security prison. She'd just sit on her, like, um, guard duty, just crocheting her little blankets. And I think that's so funny. So that's what I associate crocheting with. So I assume that's what you've been up to in Kentucky. <laughs> um, anyway, oh my god. I, I, I'm kind of stalling because I'm, like, actually nervous. My heart is beating really fast. Okay. Let's just, I'm gonna close my eyes and hopefully I can figure out how to open this. Okay. Whoa, okay. Um, hopefully, I, oh my god, I feel hair. Okay, so I think that would be the front because this is more consistent hair back here. Okay, one, two. This is so, are you kidding? How did you do this with crochet? What? Look at the outfit and everything. I need to see those other dolls right now. Oh my God. I won't put them on the screen because I encourage you guys to check out the artists. Like usually I'd put them on the screen, but like you get to see this one, go see the other ones. I, I haven't even seen them yet. So you guys will like in this weird time warp that you're viewing this video in and like this version of me that you're watching has not seen them yet. So let me know how they are. I'm kidding. I'll, I'll look at them right after this video, but like, I think they're like, is this needle felting that you did to do the makeup? Like how did you... The hair is also amazing. It's brushed yarn. And I think there's like gel in parts of it to keep it in place. And they even did. I'm dumbfounded, truly. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't believe that you sent her to me. This is the most incredible. Do I can't believe. 
who made this? Look at her tail too. I d the outfit being so accurate, I feel like even if I knew how to do something like this, I would have like phoned it in completely. I'd be like, black jacket's enough. Like I don't need to do the trim, like it's fine. Or I don't need to do the gloves, but you, you did everything. Oh my God, this is so cool. Thank you so much. I have this like Torlai shrine that I took down because um, I don't know. <laughs> I have like this little weird custom, I think they're called munnies. I don't know. They're like these little bunny things that were popular in the 2010s, but mine's a cat one. Um, and I bought it from someone on a forum who customized it in Catastrophe Torlai. I have a bootleg Catastrophe Torlai. Like, I have a bunch of random Torlai stuff for a Torlai shrine, but it hasn't been put up since I moved into this house or even in my last house actually. Um, but this is reinstating the Torlai shrine because now we have a centerpiece because before the Torlai shrine was easy because I had all these Torlai dolls but now all the Torlai dolls are sorted into their appropriate locations you know so I can't um my Torlai shrine was not justified anymore but now it is are you kidding I just can't believe the face like the face is so good wow <laughs> I don't know if I can emotionally handle doing this how did I do these before <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your art with me. And I am so honored that you chose me to own this absolutely incredible piece of artwork you created. This is so cool. Also, I think this is like, this is a piece of pleather or a foam or something with a little skull bead that is actually metal for the belt. Like, oh my God, the belt is actually, like that's the, to be like the actual belt. Before this video becomes Fabric Craft Tour Live video, we will set her down. Um, but oh my god. Thank you so much. <laughs> that is... Wow, okay. I'm gonna force myself to move on to the next package. Thank you so, so much, Noah. That that This is so thoughtful and cool and unique when you say like crocheted monster high doll i don't know what i envisioned in my head but it was nothing near this i'm actually in shock over that doll um thank you so much i feel weird like moving on like it feels like there's no like proper way to do it like when you're at a birthday party and somebody gives you like your opening presents it's like okay next like how do you <laughs> um <laughs> like... wow <laughs> thank you so much again seriously um, and before I get too annoying, next we have this package, and let's just get into it. Look, I'm not gonna hold the scissor blade with my hands anymore, I've learned. <laughs> you guys always are concerned about me in the comments. I have to address it because I've probably moved, and also I now have a band-aid on my finger. I was literally- I'm not kidding, roll the clip, I was making a joke about scissor safety. <laughs> Because you guys will comment when I hold scissors by the blade, like, like I do, to cut a package open. I've never actually hurt myself doing that. Um, but I was saying I'm using these scissors today so that you, so that you guys don't have to worry about me. Like I've learned, I appreciate your concern. Um, and then I managed to do this to my finger while I was. So, anyway, I shed blood for this package. So. <laughs> Like, just the, the comedic timing of the fact that I was actively making a joke of scissor safety. So, no, don't, don't joke about it. It's serious, guys. Okay, there is a note, and it says my name on it, so I know that it is for me, and I'm opening it like a complete fool, and I'm so sorry for that. Got it. To be clear a lot of these packages were intended for around October <laughs> um some something happened in October where I just absolutely could not film videos you'll notice that I was like what did I take like almost two weeks off of filming videos it was it's I'm not gonna get into it but um then things started happening uh anyway dear Brooke happy Halloween at love Rachel I'm so sorry <laughs> um I love watching, okay, and then there's a note. I love watching your videos and I'm so happy to see you are finding some great vintage 80s and 90s Barbies at thrift stores. You were correct that I do especially collect the 80s and 90s skippers. I know who you are. 
Okay, this is a long time coming for you. <laughs> I've included one as well as some other 90s Barbies. Oh, I'm not gonna read that. Okay. <gasps> okay, so this person in the past sent a bunch of skippers to me, and it was really exciting because I just don't have any skippers. Um, and now that I have more, and now, if you're, I hope you're still around. Um, you saw my, uh, <laughs> you saw what I found recently, huh? <laughs> um, there's going to be an actual display for them now. I'm going to have enough of them to do it. I do have some of the ones you sent me on display already, though. Okay, let's see. Let's see. But anyway, more, more of the Barbies are getting on display. They're starting to really leech into other areas of the doll room. <gasps> okay, so we have this skipper with oh my god this outfit is cute i assume that this is a fashion pack of some sort but it's really interesting i really want to style this top with something it's really cute or like a skirt like a white skirt or something with this would really work this is cute okay very soft hair so cute thank you okay and then we have ooh. okay i recognize this doll but from where her face is so different i know this is not barbie interesting Sorry, they have a really good smell to them. <laughs> I don't know. I like her top and jacket a lot. So cute. Okay, intriguing. Very like early 90s or late 80s. And then we have this Cinderella, who is also from that same time period. And she's very unique. Like, look at her dress. What is this? <gasps> I'm so intrigued. Okay. I really like her little matching underwear. I'm not sure what the deal with this set is, but she is really interesting. Watch me be wrong about it being Cinderella. Okay, let's see. Um, Hollywood hair skipper. Oh, ironically, this outfit goes to teen fun skipper, which I sent you in a pink dress a while ago. <gasps> Yay, okay, cool. Okay, I can give her her dress back. Jazzy Barbie's cousin. This is high school Jazzy, and she's wearing Barbie clothes. I've never heard of Jazzy before, but the name is so apt. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, she has such an interesting face. She almost reminds me of, maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking of the wrong doll line, but like maxi dolls vaguely look like this. She's really interesting. Okay. Barbie's cousin. How do I not know an entire Barbie character? That's interesting. Um, I feel like I've at least heard of most of them. And then we have the 94 Mattel Cinderella in Barbie's sun jewel outfit because I didn't want to send her naked. Well, I love the outfit. It's really cute. I don't, what is... I'm not familiar enough with the Sun Jewel line because I don't know what this thing is. And this Cinderella is adorable. And I know I have a Cinderella dress from this era that's been waiting for a host. So um, when that is located, <laughs> she will have a new outfit. Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much for sending me these three cuties. I am so hyped about this new character. This is... When you're getting it, because I'm actually, like, for real this time, getting into 80s and 90s Barbies. Like, before I was kind of pa passively into it, but now that I got um, kicked in the face a little bit with that um, pink jubilee Barbie situation, <laughs> um, I'm like, okay, my ignorance almost cost me. So, cost me an opportunity that I would have always, like, regretted, is what I mean, because I'm not selling the doll. I think people were not clear that I'm not selling the doll. <laughs> um, for context, I found a doll that is, like, worth a thousand dollars, like a limited edition Barbie from a special event in New York. Found her at a thrift store, and I didn't recognize her, and someone in the comments had to tell me, and I ran back to go get her. Thankfully, she was still there, and I got her for $25. <laughs> um, but anyway, that kicked me in the butt, because my mentality has been this whole time. I am focused on 2000s and late 90s, and that's where I was, and then I started getting really into the, like, 60s and 70s ones just because of a chance opportunity that I had, like, just fate. Um, and then I was like, okay, I'm sticking in the 60s and 70s. And then if I find these other ones from like these other eras, then sure. Um, but that 80s situation, I, okay. Barbie, you win. Barbie, you win. Every era, I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> um, so um, it's very, very, very exciting to find a new character in Jazzy. And thank you so, so much for introducing me to her. Oh no, I'm sure you probably, I mean, I assume you thought that, or I, I have to imagine you did not think I would just be like, oh my god, I've never seen this character before. But um, regardless, I really appreciate it. Also that whatever you do to the hair, it, it must be what the smell is. is. Are you are you one of the ones that said you use fabric softener? I'm not a fabric softener person. I'm against it for my dolls. But um, when other people do it, I'm always like, oh my god, look at this. I love it. It's so soft. <laughs> um, or it's just the shampoo or conditioner you use or something. I don't know. The conditioner I use for my hair that you guys are always complimenting, which I... 
is like a random generic cheap one but like it makes my dolls look so good so yeah <laughs> anyway thank you so so much i really appreciate it and i'm really excited about these and i am so so sorry to, to everybody about how late this video is <laughs> anyway let's get her back here too everybody can party these brats are like every time you do a video here you block us it's rude it's not all about you guys you always get to be on display okay um next we'll do another card now this one is from another country which is exciting i'm not gonna say which one in case they don't say um but look how cute this sticker is so i am not going to harm this sticker hopefully come on come on it looks like my old uh my late black cat prada from when i was a kid so that sticker is awesome i love it okay We've saved the sticker. I want to get it off, though. Okay, well, we're not going to do that right now. It is not important. Okay. We got a thank you card. Cute. Okay. <gasps> There's sticker. <gasps> More stickers! Okay. Dear Brooke, I am a Hungarian girl from Serbia, and this summer I visited my aunt in Canada, and... The oh, God, summer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, and I really wanted to send you a postcard, because from Canada, it's easier than Europe. That is so thoughtful to go through all that trouble. Thank you. What? I... I watch your channel more than I've been watching your channel for more than a year now and I really like your huge variety of different toys that you collect. If I would have an opportunity, I would really love to see all of them in reality. Oh, <laughs> I thought you meant see all of them. I was like, well, flash forward to the future, there was a whole video. I know I wish I could like bring people in here. There's only been a couple of doll collectors who've actually gotten to come in here. One. Actually, because I live or no, sorry, two. Two have gotten to come in here because uh, I live in such a weird area that nobody comes here. Like, if I lived somewhere, like, people visit regularly, I'd be like, yeah. Um, but my friend, who actually a package from her is in here, she's coming over, like, two weeks from now or something, I think. I don't remember the date, but anyway. Like, so, more collectors will be entering my home soon. It's just such a, it's such a shame. I wish more people could come over. Anyway, tangent. Um, <laughs> it... A few weeks ago, I was in a thrift store here in Canada, and the toy section reminded me of your thrift shops, of thrift vlogs, and it was really exciting for me. I found a bunch of My Little Pony G3 Ponyville figures and accessories for a few dollars. I only collect Rainbow High Dolls, Monster, or My Little Pony G3, and Bratz Dolls. Because these remind me of my childhood, I was born in 2001. Sport in 99, we're close. Also, I really, I was really happy when you, or I'm really happy when you get opportunities from doll brands and you get them for free. <laughs> That's like really sweet. It's like, it's really cool for me because I, it's part of like, it's recognition, right? Because it's something that I'm doing that is benefiting them, even though it's benefiting me too, right? Like my videos are monetized. I get views. I get, I get like whatever cloud. I get fans. I get, um money from the videos so obviously there's that for me but it's the fact that the companies see what i'm doing and are seeing that it is beneficial to them and want to support that is something that i really appreciate and also in like my selfish way i really like being part of the process i just think that's such a cool thing and it's really hard to explain but like for example um i love when i get to work somewhere even if it's like some some place that like absolutely nobody wants to work like when i worked at mcdonald's i was just so excited to see what the behind the scenes looks like because it's not something everybody gets to see right i get to see what it looks like i get to see what all the ingredients are i get to see what the protocols are I, you know uh i get to see like the back of the freezer i get to like all of that little stuff i just find that sort of thing so fascinating um and that's weird i don't know maybe maybe that's weird maybe other people aren't like that but for me like if i get to go to the behind the scenes of anything i'm so excited that's all i want to see <laughs> um it's so fun anyway um it must be so exciting and a good experience for you it really is um i hope you get this postcard and i really wait to see your reaction in a youtube video i wish you all the best and happiness from bb thank you so so much bb i'm worried about when this was postmarked um I can actually cannot read when it was postmarked because of the way it's stamped, so it'll be a mystery for me. Um, and then there is a separate note that says, P.S. A year ago I sent you my collection on Twitter, then I only had around six or seven dolls, maybe you remember, but it's okay if not. I'll have to look at that old video and see. Um, or maybe you sent it to me. No, I recognize your username that you put though. Um, but now I have around 30. Also, can you tell me where did you find those Muslim dolls with the hijab and nice dresses? were they expensive so i think you actually have an advantage over me because those dolls were sold in europe they 
in some limited capacity. So they're called Arabian Friends, or you're referring to Full of Dolls. I'm not sure. I assume you're referring to Arabian Friends. Either way, both of those brands are much more, like, were much more popular in Europe. So I don't know about, it depends on what company or what countries have better, like, larger Muslim populations in them. That's how you're going to find them. Uh, so I know in the UK, I've seen UK listings for them, and it always, like, yeah. <laughs> it frustrates me. Um, but the company is called New Boy, N E W B O Y. If you search that on like different shopping sites, like New Boy Toy, New Boy Doll, whatever, depending on your language, obviously, New Boy Poupe, if you're searching in Ital Italian, I think you'll have a good chance of finding them. The best place to find them seems to be like Malaysia and stuff. I've, when I tell you, I've been searching for those dolls, like the amount of effort I've put in. Um, mine weren't expensive, thankfully, but they definitely can get expensive. Um, and I sent you some cat stickers and so cute. And I will definitely have to salvage that cat sticker because I love it. Thank you so, so much. You are so sweet, BB. This is so cool. I really appreciate that you went through all the trouble to send this uh, while visiting your family in Canada. That is so, that is so much effort and that is so so sweet and i hope you are able to find some cool hijabi dolls i wish they were more common there's definitely like a lot of bootleg ones out there that are pretty good um that are pretty nice i'm trying to get a hold of some myself <laughs> um but they they can be pretty hard to find so um i hope you are able to find some let me know <laughs> um so yeah thank you so so much bb that is so sweet and i just love that black hat sticker you put on there it's so cute so moving on we have this one and this is another one that i popped open um in preparation for this video it's funny that i did it with the envelopes and not with the it's because with the envelopes i'm like paranoid about accidentally flipping them around even though I, I edit the video and stuff but i'm just so scared of missing it in editing and i accidentally show your address um so that's something i don't want to do obviously <laughs> uh, but with the boxes like i could just hold it the other direction it's fine anyway um oh oh this is something that was sent from ebay and i think let's see Oh yeah, I think somebody told me they had sent something from eBay. Oh, how cute. Okay, so yeah, I, th I think there was a comment referring to this, but I might be wrong. Um, funny that this is a Toys R Us gift card rip. <laughs> it's obviously empty, but like, I actually, this is weird. So I had a friend in my neighborhood when I was younger who like, I guess she was a klepto or something. I don't know. I don't judge. Uh, but she had a ton of like gift cards, just empty gift cards that she would just take from places. So like every place they went, she would just grab the gift cards. And like, that's something you're allowed to do technically. Like you can take the empty gift cards to fill them later. I think anyway, uh, my mom used to do that with like designs she really liked. She would take one or two so that she could fill them later on. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know, Target. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm admitting to a crime. Um, but anyway, she... um. She had this ridiculous collection of gift cards and she gave them to me. Um, <laughs> so I have a ridiculous collection of gift cards now. So this will fit in. <laughs> Does any, I don't, I need to find out where that is. I have a bunch of bins of like paper things from my childhood I need to go to, but um, that's going to be an emotional journey. So I'm not ready to do that, but I'm pretty sure they're in there and it's going to be weird. Anyway, these are... Winx Club door hangers and they're they're a little craft kit that was sent out to Toys R Us stores uh, for some kind of little event because they used to do events and then they also used to do events and this was definitely one of those events where it was like come do a Winx Club craft in our store and it's like a cross promotional thing um, and this is one of them so you get a red crayon I guess to write your name with you get how fun the crayon just says elegant on it um, you get some stickers which are really cute, actually. They're sparkly, and you get the door hanger. And this is the type, type of thing that is my exact bread and butter. Uh, I did not actually know that this event existed until recently, so these are very, very cool. And thank you so much to the person who sent them to me. If you'd like to be known, put it in the description. Like, put it in the comments and I'll, I'll make it be known. <laughs> uh, but thank you so, so much. These are really, really awesome, and I'm very, very excited to have these for archival sake. I think they're really cool. So I'll open up one of these for sure and scan them and get them on Dalek. I don't know when that's going to be, so don't hold me to that. But I will. Maybe 10 years from now, but I will. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you so, so much. <laughs> Moving on, I have a package that I did pop open. And it has, like, cool... It's a reused box, of course. Um, and this one is also from another country, which is always really, really exciting. And I have to dump this one out, I think, because it popped open from the bottom. So let's... Oh my god, okay. I found the note. It says, Hi, Brooke. Me. <laughs> and 
I own letter openers, but will I ever go get them for these videos? No. <laughs> my mom used to have these cool ones that you could just like, they were flat little keychains. You just, um, don't know where those went, but I'm pretty sure I have them. Anyway. Hi, Brooke. It's Ta Tammy again. I have more doubles of mine again. Oh, I recognize you. Are you the one that sent like the bit huge bushel of Little's Pet Shops? Oh my God. I legit spent five hours today rearranging Little's Pet Shops. <laughs> um, I sent a bunch of LPS earlier this year, so that would be 2023. Um, I don't recall if I've sent some, so maybe there's some repeats. It's fine. I tried sending pics of my collection through email that you mentioned, but it looks like you may not have received it. Oh, I'll have to check on that. Um, hmm. Sadly, my collection are all in bags because I don't have space to display. I'm not sure if it's because I live in Canada, but I'm noticing Toys R Us and Walmart have not been getting dolls, and I've had to resort to Amazon. Oh no, I was trying to straighten it out. I'm sorry. Oh, um, that's weird, actually, because Toys R Us Canada is pretty well known for getting dolls first. Huh. I'm sorry about that, um, which is not my first choice. I love the thrill of going to the stores to find them. Me too. <laughs> that... That's my thing is people are always like, you can just order it online. I'm like, yes, I can. But there's a magical moment in the store that is taken away if I order it online. You get it. You get it. <laughs> it's sad that we never get the BFF and Glow Up Girls dolls in stores. Y'all didn't really? Huh. I would think at least the BFFs because they're from Europe. Interesting. I'm hoping to see the Decora dolls when they come out. Um, I hope to see the Wings Club dolls since I know that they're coming back. I am so curious what company has the Wings Club dolls. I have like two theories in my head and I, I know it's going to be one of them and I'm not going to say because people will just assume I have inside information and I actually don't. The only inside information is I have is that it's not three companies or four companies. Like I know for a fact it's not those companies. If it is, I'll just be like, <laughs> um, but that's the only info I have and it's because I went up to the like people and was like, is he you? Is he you? Is he you? And the way they answered, I was like, okay. Also, anyway, <laughs> I don't know what company it is, but it's between two. I just know it. I know it. Anyway, <laughs> I cannot wait. And Decor Girls! I, I cannot wait for those to come out everywhere. That's just in a few days. And I'm going to the launch party in a couple days, too, which I'm very excited about. The other launch party. They're, they did one at FAO Schwartz, and I tried to get invited. But then I was, like, flying to New York for an event that was just that maybe was not worth my, like, would not be worth the, like, hundreds of dollars, but. <sighs> anyway, if you were going to keep one Monster High doll line, which one would you choose? I would have to go with the, like, 2.0 Campus Stroll situation, because you get Torlai and you get 2.0 Claudia, and those are my two favorites, and they're from the same line-ish. I'm counting those as the same. Sorry. <laughs> um, if you had to sell some of your favorite dolls to fund new ones, would you? No. If it was just to fund new ones, no. If it was to fund something else that was serious, yeah, maybe. Um, but no. <laughs> if it was just to get new ones, I would just not get new ones until I could fund them separately. Um, but yeah, and then they said I couldn't, but I can with action figures. Uh, do you fear running out of space for your collections? I don't fear it. It's something I'm constantly aware of, of course. Um, but running out of space for me is not an issue because there will always be space to put them, even if it's not on display. And also my displays, like, I'm sitting in front of a bunch of crowded displays, but plenty of my displays, I could cram, like, double the amount of dolls that are on the shelf onto that shelf if I really wanted to, if I had to have them all on display, but then you wouldn't see them all. Um, but I, I have room for bins. And that's not everybody's thing, because, like, for me, now that I'm in a situation where I have room to display them all, I'm not just going to buy dolls to immediately put them in a bin. There's situations where I will, but it's, like, if I find it for a dollar at a thrift store, you know? Um, but I want them on display. If I'm buying them, I want them to, like, actually get to be on display or at least plan for display or in, like, a box where I can regularly access them. You know, I don't want them just in my deep storage. So um, that's kind of my philosophy on that. Um, and my holy grail at the moment... It's a limited doll to 35. I saw it go up for sale last year and I bid on her and I missed her. There's four dolls in the line. All of them are limited to about, I think, 35. And they are, um, they're, they're, they're called Cerberus Project dolls. They're, they're, oh God, there's, there's Cerberus Project Love Love dolls. And I, I literally saw them go up for sale for $1,200 and I missed her. But that was Ellie, and she's kind of my least favorite one, but I did see Nozomi go up for sale, and I lost her in a bid, and, like, I've never seen Katori or um, Maki go up for sale at all, because those 35 people that own them love them, I guess. They're not going anywhere. But anyway, I hope one of them stops loving them and puts them up for sale for a dollar. 
for me only. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day. Sincerely, Tammy. Thank you so, so much. I hope I had a fantastic day when this note arrived. I'm sure I did because of your energy. And we have some bags of things. Oh my God. So I was, if I say like I was just thinking about this pet, it's because I'm telling you the way I rearrange my little pet shops because they're all in number order is that I go through the lists of each pet numbered in order and I pick them out and I screenshot certain ones on my phone um, to like refer back to them later as like my wish list. And this was literally one of the pets on there. Yay! Is This one is just so unique. I don't know. If you're not familiar with Little's Pet Shops, like the dachshunds are pretty popular, but like this one has a different ear shape, I think anyway. At least he looks like he does. And I just, I don't know. I just think he's so cute. This is an adorable pet. Ah, thank you. <laughs> um, and then we have, I do not have this one. This one is a mommy, right? I think there's a mommy baby set and this is that one. Um, this is a like first era one that I don't have, which is very exciting. And then we have some fairies. And I actually have a friend who I think there's a package from her that's going to be in this video. Um, she is collecting little pet shops. And I also have another friend who's the one that's coming over who I think will also be interested in little pet shops. So the, the doubles of these will definitely find homes um, very soon. Um, and then there's this cute fox one. There is this Husky McDonald's one, who's actually one I don't have. I'm not familiar with this one. This was the last little sweatshop I bought as a kid. My childhood. Uh, but she came in this, like, really cute little thing. I remember her very vividly. Oh, so that's cute. Um, and then we have... Oh, I don't have this one. This is one of those ones with the real, real eyes that are a little bit disturbing. Um, and then this cutie i don't want to say the type of dog because i'm pretty sure i know but i don't want someone to yell at me because the little special fans got really mad at me for calling whatever i've never heard of a king charles spaniel before but i called it a pomeranian <laughs> and then the comments were mean <laughs> i was like i'm sorry i don't know anyway this is one of those um later gen pets which is very exciting because i just set up my display for those so she will immediately get to find a new spot and then there's a head which um, we'll see if the body's in here i think we'll see oh yeah yeah here it is yay here is the body for that one and i super like this generation i think this one was g6 no no not g6 oh my god i know that uh g5 i think g5.5 or g5 this isn't pets in the city i don't think uh but i could be wrong and then we have this snail this was one of my favorites as a kid this hermit crab i'm so self-indulgent lately so many little pet shops i love it and then this little bird guy oh my god <laughs> this guy this one mine has had his head off since my childhood so <laughs> but i got one at a thrift store recently too um and then this poodle these ones are so cute they never used these sculpts again i mean maybe they did but these pets like there were a couple at the beginning and then they didn't really do it again it was weird and then this extremely clean pig this adorable chimp and this oh you are so cute this little guy and then this little mousy with the sticker eyes and this little mini pet. And then this Zoe Trent, which I think is a McDonald's toy that's been cut off the base. I love when people do this because it's like they wanted to play with that pet so bad. Isn't that so sweet? I have one like that in my collection that I actually display up top because I'm like, you had so much reverence from your previous owner that I, I can't just put you in the bin with the other the bin sorry I need to make this clear because Europeans call trash the bin bin to me is a bin that I put things in that I'm not displaying actively it's a like it's a storage bin <laughs> um but anyway um my McDonald's ones most of them end up going in the little storage bin until I have room to display them or I'm like using them for something so anyway thank you oh my god Tammy so these are some Shopkins pets which I've been very intrigued by recently because they are so unbelievably cute and flocked uh so this is very exciting to have two of these thank you oh Tammy this is so this is so timely because I just put those shelves up so it's gonna be so easy and quick to put them in oh my god and then this little fly friend so cute oh this was one of my favorites as a kid this little corgi oh this is a like original era bunny that I don't have, which I, the original era, I actually have like almost all of them. So it's really specifically exciting when I get one of those that I don't have. And then, yay, one of the like galaxy cool pets from Gen 6. I love these. The bobble, by the way, is so satisfying. It's like actually, it feels better to bobble these ones' heads than the original's hot take. And then this really cute one. This was... I think my first as a kid. I know it was one in the sculpt, but I can't remember if it was this one or the white one. Um, and then this guy, it's a St. Bernard, right? <laughs> if I'm wrong, I was kidding. <laughs> this bunny, 
this dachshund, this is the, the popular dachshund from that, um, this is Savannah. <laughs> Cute. Um, this one actually looks like she might be in better condition than mine, so that is exciting. And then we have this little chicky. This is funny, actually, because I have a double of, um, the other character from this little, little Spetch Up series, too. I have, because I have a double of Brooke because she was my favorite as a kid, and mine had a smear in her eyes since I was a kid, and I found a replacement, so. But I can't get rid of the one that has a kid, so I have a display one and a play one. And then I have two cute little minis here, and then we have this baggie with, oh, cute. Okay, so we have a... Ralph Breaks the Internet, Cozy Princesses. I don't know why I did all of that title. The Comfy Princesses Hasbro Moana, who's so cute. Oh my god. This is that... I'm right, right? Like, is this a Hasbro? She's really cute. I don't recognize this one, though. Um, she doesn't have, like, the really intense expression that most of the other ones had. Um, she's really cute. I really like her. And her hair is very soft, too. What is your deal? I don't know very cute thank you i've just had this lone anna on display so she'll finally have a friend <gasps> ah oh my god this is a blossom forth i don't remember what these are called with the wings but i don't have this one and blossom forth is a favorite of mine i have the original blossom forth yay thank you and then these liquid wing ones they're just so cute and fun it's just such a fun idea love it and then we have the zebra enchantable and the enchantables with the knees i wish they all had them it adds so much please enchantables it's because they can actually like ride on the or the elephant this the, the animal that they come with in her case it's a zebra okay and then we have lily blossom who i always just associate her with how much of a like nightmare it was to get a hold of my first lily blossom but now she's everywhere and this one's actually a totally different color than the original one which is quite interesting and yay these are so cute i actually didn't know about a lily blossom one i only knew about blossom forth so that's actually really cool and then we have felicity fox from enchantimals we have this little rainbow dash i think these are like kid robot or something right i don't remember funko and then we have a shoppies doll I am trying to figure out where I'm going to display my shoppies. Y'all will get to see them soon, hopefully. Um, and this is... God, I forgot what the pink one was. It's not Jessica Cake. She's the blue-haired one. Um, she's not giving me any hints. Please have a thing that's associated... I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm a bad shoppies fan. I'm a bad shoppies fan. I admit it. And then we have... Oh, God. Was this one's name, like, Whimsy? What? Ooh, Dozy Dotes. Is that this one? If I'm actually right about that name, somebody give me an award. <laughs> um, G3 names, a lot of them, I don't know. Uh, but if I got that one, I'm actually extremely impressed with myself. And then we have Brie Bunny. Thank you so, so much. These are so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about all these new little pet shops. And I cannot believe how perfect your timing was. <laughs> and I feel so bad that I ripped your note. I... But thank you so, so much, Tammy. These are they're all so cute, and I'm so, so excited to add them to my collection. This is my star. I, I, I just specifically was like, something about that one drew my attention, but also this guy. This one's so cute. I remember this one from when I was a kid because I had the little collector book, and I, I had the checklist that I was checking them off, um, and that one was the one that I was like, she's so cute, I want her, but I didn't have her. So, um, but now I do. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Okay, next this package i actually did not notice what name was on it until i was pulling over these packages for this video because there's there's about double like what you're seeing here there's more <laughs> uh, but anyway this one is from ever after high loves and if you don't know who that is this is the person who made my rainbow high persona doll which actually I'm, gonna, I'm bringing her on my New York trip tomorrow, probably, but the reason I stopped traveling with her as much is because her lips started to chip. <gasps> because I was, like, I've, I've been being a little bit too careless, I guess, but when there's a doll that I travel with, I kind of, like, beat that doll up because, you know, she's, like, going in and out of bags and going on photo shoots and, like, go, just being my, like, little comfort doll for a while and stuff, you know? But, um, <laughs> uh, when it's a custom doll and she starts to get damaged, I'm, like, I can't let this happen anymore. Uh, but as soon as I figure out repainting, she can come back because I can fix her lip. I mean, her lip is not bad at all. It just has like a little bit of missing paint. Um, so I'm like, because that was such a cool thing that Ever After I Loves did for me. And I was like, I don't want to harm you at all. Okay. We have a note. Bloop. Okay. Hello, Brooke. Happy belated birthday. 
<laughs> it, it still is. <laughs> um, for some reason, I'm always like getting your gifts out too. <laughs> and I'm like opening them. I am so sorry. This was actually very close to my birthday. Um, any, I'm trying very hard to somewhat downsize my collection as I'm quickly running out of room. In this package, you will find a few dolls from my personal collection that I'm just not as in love with anymore and thought you might like. And I also added some random things and a small something for your mini brook. I hope you enjoy your fan, Nikki, aka Ever After I Loves. And um, if you saw that original video of uh, where Nikki sent me that doll, I'm a big fan of Ever After High Loves' work. Ever After High Loves has been around in the community for a long time. So uh, it's kind of weird to hear from that person, like your fan. Like, that's so cool. Um, But okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm excited to see what you said. Um, and thank you so much for the birthday presents. <laughs> um, it's like, this is the intermediate, intermediate holiday, right? Because we have my birthday in July. We've got Christmas in December, nothing in March. I have to just wait until my birthday? No, we got a March holiday now, so we're good. Oh my god, I can't believe how long it's been. Um, okay, so... I lifted something to pull it out, and I saw something else, and I can't just, like, ignore that, so... How do you open this door? <laughs> There's like layers of, of how do you get in here? Um, okay, I think I'm what I'm dealing with is like a shipper situation. So you get this out and then this is the actual packaging. No, it's about to go on a rant at Mattel about what the heck was going on with the packaging design. But I think what's going on is that this is like a door and um, Ever After I Love's put it in there to ship it. Uh, but I was like, why would you, for a Comic-Con doll that most people are going to leave in box and want to display in box, why would you do that? Anyway, that's my bad. I'm dumb. <laughs> um, this is a Comic-Con doll uh, for DC Superhero Girls. This is Katana. The plated swords, it, like in the daggers and stuff, that is so cool. Oh my god, in the actual working sheaths. Well, you got me. Now I have to set up the DC, DC Superhero Girls display. I have my DC Barbies up, so I can probably figure something out near them. I don't know why I keep pronouncing word them. Diam. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. Look how cute that stand is, too. Wow. How cool is that? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I guess it's been a while. <laughs> but, like... Thank you. <laughs> um, anyway, what I was trying to pick up when this happened uh, was <laughs> this of um, Austinopoly, which is really funny. So if you if you live in certain cities and you go to Walmart, there will just be a Monopoly game themed after your city. And I've seen them for random suburbs sometimes, which is hysterical and it makes me want to buy them so bad. But I'm like, I it's fine. I used to live in Austin. That's where I went to college. I will never be living there again. But I do have some fondness for it. some Because uh, I'm far enough removed from it that I don't remember all the bad stuff as much. And I'm just getting nostalgia for it, which is weird. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is a Monopoly game, which is exciting. Because I have multiple Monopoly games and I keep buying them at thrift stores thinking they are complete. Or at least playable. And they're not. So now they're, I have a playable one. And it could remind me. Of all of the places in Austin, I either didn't go or absolutely did go, which will be really, really cool. I wonder how close it gets to where I lived. I lived in the, like, south area. There was a Toys R Us literally across the street from my apartment at one point. It was so cool. Um, but not anymore. There were a ton of apartment complexes over there, but it, was, it had a Target. It had a Toys R Us. It had, uh, like, thrift stores. It had so many cool things. It was awesome. Um... That was a great setup, especially when I didn't have a car. That was before I had my license for a minute there. Um, but anyway, cute. Thank you. <laughs> and then we have, I see hair. Okay, so this is a wig that I think is probably for our Snap Star. Well, Snap Star head. And then we have some monster. 
These are the Monster High Minis, which I sorely regret not buying when they were in stores because they are so adorable. And there's some really cute ones that, like, I want in doll form so bad. Like the fruit ones. Anyway, so we have a Venus and Torilai. Yay, Torilai! For the shrine. And then I'm going to assume this is supposed to be Ari and then Monica, maybe? Cute. Oh, the Monica one's really cute. I wonder if she's meant to be like a, she's like a plush, are they all meant to be plushies? Did I miss that complete? I guess I've been missing this whole time that they're all meant to be little plushies, which is super cute because that means they, and that checks out because they're on the G3 little um, basketball machine and they look like plushies on there. Um, but anyway, that's so cute. This one kind of looks like, like a dead tired sort of vibe. And then we have, these are the minis that came in these. I'm surprised how rarely I see minis considering, like I wonder how many they actually made. Um, and then in here, ah! Gemma Stone! What? Right, is that her name? This is my credit card number and these are the three digits on the back. Oh my god, if this is not named Gemma Stone, I'm really sorry. That is my memory of Shopkins era. So during Shopkins era, I was a teenager. So I had a very limited amount of money to spend, of course, before I had like a job. Um, so, oh my god, her hair is so soft. Why is your hair that soft? Do you have saran hair? Wow. It's like really, really thin and soft. I would almost think it's Kanekalon, but I'm pretty sure Kanekalon is discontinued at this point. It even has tinsel. It's really soft. Um, anyway, I think Gemma Stone is actually the little ring that was a limited edition. I don't remember what this um, Shopkin's name is, but she had a ring on her finger. Um, but there were several Shopkins that like stuck in my brain forever. Shoppies, I should say, um, because I wanted them really bad, but Shoppies were like weirdly expensive. They were like $16.99 each, I'm pretty sure. Um, and considering Monster High Dolls were like $20 and they were Monster High Dolls, I was like, and I didn't collect Shopkins. I was like, whatever. Uh, but my little sister loves Shopkins. Uh, but anyway, I don't find these thrifting as much as I want to. And then when I do, they don't have as much stuff as I need them to. So I haven't been winning with them. So, oh my God, I am so grateful. Look at her. Wow. I saw the little baggie and I saw that it was like, there was some like Shopkins and stuff in it, but I didn't connect the dots there. Um, and then we have the little cute gemstone Shopkins friends, which are really adorable. And there's even a little Shopkin purse. How do you think the Shopkins feel about their place in society? There's a show, but I how can we know the narrators of the show are reliable? And are the Shoppies in the show? I don't remember if they are. It's been so long. Because <laughs> I know there's animations of them, but is that the commercials? I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, thank you. <laughs> And then, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I know this one too. <gasps> then the H-E-B bags are making me like actually like nostal like sad and <laughs> nostalgic. Um, this is the lipstick themed one or the shopping themed one or whatever. <gasps> she also comes with a credit card, Lippy Lulu. Oh shoot, does the other one's card have her name on it? No, this one just says VIP. So how are you supposed to spend my money if there's no name? <laughs> um, so anyway, here's my credit card. I love these, by the way. This is so fun, um, especially for kids. Like, I love this sort of thing. When I had my little kid wallet and I could put something like this in it, that was always so meaningful. So I think this is, like, really clever of the Shopkins designers. Uh, Lippy Lulu, oh my gosh. And she comes with her whole playset. Look at the little lipsticks and stuff. Oh, she's divine. Oh, wait, I need to get a stand out. I want to put her back there. Thank you. Oh my God. Yay. Well, okay, now the Shopkins display will, like, app, like there's no... Now I have too many shoppies for them not to go on display. So we'll we'll get her done. <laughs> and then we have... Oh, I think the sticky note that says four mini brook is on this. But we also have the Sonic mini brands. Remember these? I love these. So this... I don't remember how these were packaged, but this is like very uh, wide. Oh, this is the drink tray. Oh my god, I wanted that. Sorry, it's been so long since the Sonic mini brands. Oh my god. Yeah, this was like a life-changing collaboration. I think it was in 2022? Early 2022. Like, when I first moved here, um, and I was trying to get all these, but I failed. Well, I didn't want, like, all of them. Like, I didn't care about these, but these are, like, really perfectly doll-sized, and... Well, let me show you. Did the tear strip not work? Oh my god, it really didn't. Okay. Take two. Okay. I guess I can't really show you for real but this is not doll sized but anyway like the drinks you could make them work for dolls and this would work for american girl like they were just a really cute little thing and then there's also the sonic bag which <laughs> 
Uh, but anyway, I was super annoying at my local Sonics. They were like, Sonic, there's only one. Um, but anyway. This is the, or it's not a drink tray. It's the tray that the um, drive through person brings out to you. So I guess this could work with doll scale. I mean, this is kind of a small doll, but it's still pretty big, but I think it could work. And it also appears to maybe be glow in the dark and it rocks. Thank you. <laughs> I love those. They're so, so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you so, so much, Nikki. I am so, so excited. Oh, wait. I, I always feel so bad undoing. Like, how do you do that? I actually cannot, like physically, I cannot do that. Um, oh, and it's even just one ribbon. See that? I actually want to wake my husband up. He's right there sleeping, but like. <sighs> it is horrifying to me that the Sasquatch pants are iconic enough to you guys. <laughs> they are my favorite pants. They have a hole in them. Well, I have two pairs, but one of them, my pair. Brett has a pair and I have a pair, but they both fit on me. They have holes in them because I wear them so much. But anyway. And this is an outfit I would wear in public too. Like platforms and all. I would. And I own these platforms. So. Nikki, you made my Sasquatch pants. My mom's going to laugh really hard when I said this to her. She's going she's gonna to be like, that's a sign to stop wearing the Sasquatch pants. But it's not. This is a sign to wear them even more. Are you kidding? It's the Sasquatch pants. Anyway, I'm, you probably can't even tell, but there's like a top layer on the lips. And it, some of it is coming off because I, um, because she like rubs up against things in my bag, I guess. So my poor baby. Um, and also she is wearing the, not her glasses. She's wearing Pink Boy's glasses because her glasses, I didn't want them to get hurt. So when I travel, I do not travel with her glasses. I travel with these ones. Um, cause her glasses are like really, like really cool, but they're also like a little bit, they're not delicate actually. Cause I used to travel with those and they were fine, but, um, I just don't want them to get hurt. So I play it safe, but like, anyway, Winx pants are cool and all, but Sasquatch pants. Oh my God. Wow. That's game changing. Oh my god. And anyway, there were there was also a Sasquatch shirt, which is adorable. There's a Bigfoot search team on it. Um, which is I actually have a hide and seek championships shirt. Um, so I could wear like almost this exact outfit. Um Yeah, so that's her new travel outfit. That is such good timing that she's now gonna have a travel outfit for tomorrow or today. <laughs> I'm filming this really early in the morning. <laughs> um, but thank you so much, Nikki. <laughs> Viva Sasquatch pants! If anyone wants to try to judge me for my Sasquatch pants, I'll just be like, they're iconic. See? Someone literally made them in doll scale for me. Nikki, I cannot believe there were doll sized Sasquatch pants sitting like across the house for me for like an unbelievable amount of time like a shocking amount of time <laughs> thank you so much oh my god wow y'all are hurting my soul a little bit but like positive but like <laughs> um <laughs> moving on um we have a letter from Queen Beans Collectibles, who um, is the person that's coming over soon. Spoiler, but if you watch this far. <laughs> um, and there's also a package, this package actually is from her as well. And we have a card. So it, uh, <laughs> it says, howdy, Brooke and Brett. I just wanted to thank you for taking us. Oh, actually, I've already opened this one. Okay, it just got, okay. Brett accidentally put it in with the other things. Okay, this is a thank you note for last time she came over and visited. Um, which is funny because now she's coming over again but anyway she had sent um i was gonna say like is she sending more neopets cards um she sent neopets postcards which was so cool um sorry <laughs> i was like why is there a card and 
but got it. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Moving on for real. Uh, we have this package, which is also one that I have. Can be. I just need to do that with every package. I already sliced into this one. Um, we have a packet. So, oh, cute paper. Cute paper. I always think like, oh, I could just run to Michael's and get this, but you can't. Like, I don't know where y'all get this stuff. I guess if you live somewhere that's not like where I live, there's plenty of options. Um, Brooke, your channel has taught me so much about doll history, care, and collecting. I'm so stoked every time a new video comes up. Thank you. Stoked is my word. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, thank you for the passion and energy you bring to the community. Um, as an extra massive, in an extra massive thanks for Doll Act and shout out to the whole Doll Act team. Thank you. <laughs> Um, I can't believe what Dalect has become. I actually am dumbfounded. We're going to reach 15,000 dolls listed on that website soon. And I, I, I really just thought it was going to be me and a couple of my friends just like, just doing that. And the, the community support, the volunteer support, just the amount of love that it's gotten and the amount of passion and like hardworking, cool people and friends that I made through it. It's just so, so cool. And it's so, I, I love it. Um, I've included a small gift I found while antique shopping. Hopefully it's cool and not like really weird. Um, the cool and really weird, weird or similar, right? Like, why not? Um, I also included some pictures of my collection and my cat. Finally, I'll include a guide to doll hunting in Southern California. Just in case you ever find yourself over here. <gasps> awesome! That's gonna be so valuable. And I recognize your username, Kate Page VII. I know you. If that's not really, really weird. <laughs> not, like, really, really weird. Um, and then there's these beautiful stickers, which this one blends, like, seamlessly into the paper. I love that. That's really cool. Um, and this butterfly... I love that style of sticker, by the way. I can make them with my Cricut, but they don't turn out as perfect. I don't know. Um, you made a little newspaper? Look at this. Welcome. Southern California is rich in doll collect or er, rich in doll hunting. Whatever you want, you can find it if only you know where to look. Generic thrift stores can tend to be light on toys, as there will be more. There will more so. F those will more so filter into specialty shops. There are a couple of savers around, and those have a doll wall, and that doll wall will be 90, 80 percent Disney princesses. Only twenty percent of them will have outfits. So anyway, the recommendations are Replay Toys Boutique, Frankenstein's Collectible Show, which I want to go to so bad, uh, World of Disney, Kelly's Toy Shop. And there's a cubay down here, by the way. Book off and La Brea Tar Pits. Oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> hop in. It's like, ah, I got you. Now, you're, now I can take everything you bought because you're stuck in the tar pits. Tar pits are crazy, man, because all the things that are, like, there's tons of really cool fossils in the tar pits because they just kind of wandered in there, kind of like quicksand. They just got stuck. And now they're still there. So if you jump into the tar pit, they'll find you later. I mean, I'm kidding. They're constantly excavating those tar pits, but, like, Tara's really funny. Um, I love this. Wait, so when I die, I should put all my dolls in there so that they'll be preserved. No, they don't get preserved, but something something of preservation. There will be I, maybe an idea that a doll was there. We don't really know how plastic works in like millions of years time scale. It'll be fun to see. Um, anyway, not that we'll get to see it. Thank you. Um, I, where are the pictures of your collection? I'm curious. Okay. Um, okay. This says, re read me after revealing the gift. Okay. They're a little not Pez Pimtar. And it's Bijou and Maxwell. I have never seen merch like this from Hamtaro before. Whoa. A double click of candies. Candy display. These are the coolest things ever. Oh my god, it says it comes with Smarties. I will eat them. I'm kidding. I, I really want those now, actually. We'll get them on our road trip tomorrow. <laughs> That is so cool. Oh my god, I can't wait to put those on my Hamtaro display. I have, like, no Hamtaro merch because I don't really know how much of it exists and it's not really documented. It's just, like, if a collector happens to have it, that's the documentation it has. Or if there's just some old ancient shopping listing that's somehow still up. That's that's what the Hamtaro community kind of has to go off of. Not even all the toys have pictures of them online yet. Like, that's how bad it is. So, 
this is so cool um it's weird because it doesn't have cartoon network branding anywhere that i'm seeing which you'd think it would because this is probably from that era so i'm gonna have to see if i can find any info on these online but if not i will be the information anyway we're trying to build a hamtaro guide on dalek so it's funny you mentioned dalek too um we is me but i'm sure somebody else would be interested uh, but anyway thank you oh my god these are so cool and now i can read the other note I've made it to that point. Oh, I don't want to rip the Sailor Venus, but I might have to. Oh my god, wait, I just noticed it matches. I'd say, like, okay, we're not gonna rip that. We're gonna cut here. That is so cool. I love stationery. People who are into stationery, y'all just, y'all have these, like, magical secret sources for things. I mean, I literally shop from Japan, like, I should know, but, like, it's just so cool. Okay. <gasps> It's even matching little paper. Um, Hamtaro candy dispensers. Please note they did come with candy, but it was extremely cursed and moldy, so I removed it. Please take care while handling. Oh, I would have eaten it too. You saved my life. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. Brett, though, he'll eat moldy food without knowing, and then I have to yell at him, but I will not. <laughs> I'm very, very, like, I immediately notice it. Okay. <gasps> I know this cat! I know this cat. This is Arthas, right? If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. But, um... Oh, wow. I love your shelves. So cute. The Haunted Mansion Bride. Everyone's teasing me with that Haunted Mansion Bride because y'all know I skipped her. I don't remember why. There was something going on um, money-wise. But it's so cute. I love your Bratzilla's shelf. Awesome. The, in the box Bratzilla's too. So cool. And then we also have the... Yeah, I know who you are. I know who you are. It said don't read that out loud, but like, I know who you are. <laughs> and then we have treats for Lego. Chicken recipe. Hey, come here. Look. Come here. Oh, do you smell it? Come here. <laughs> She's asleep, I think. <laughs> come here. Yep. Yeah. Come to mama. Come on. This kind of a maze. Come here. Want to see what my magical daughter can spin spin i don't know if she'll do it for this spin there she goes i trained her to spin um can you actually believe that spin okay one more and i'll give you some. okay wait it's a tube you can have some oh, oh i got it on her nose i'm sorry muffin here she's had kitty go before if you've never gotten your cat some form of kitty go which is what i call this i don't know what else you would call this um Squeezy treat? Oh, it, it has a smell, all right. Yum! <laughs> oh my gosh. By the way, I checked the expiration off camera. We're good. Oh my goodness. Yum, right? Yummy! <laughs> okay. That's how you get right now. I don't want you throwing up on my carpet. <gasps> look my girl can you believe that i actually trained a cat to spin by the way like it's actually cats are trainable sure but like if you've had a cat no they're not <laughs> like, um anyway my baby that's you that's you muffin did they send you a treat <laughs> did you draw a picture <gasps> wow <laughs> okay i'll let her go Go sleep again with your dad. Go sleep for him. <laughs> oh, my baby. Good girl, Muffin. Good girl. <laughs> I gotta put the rest of that in a little Ziploc bag because now she's gonna be on me. She's like, I know you have more. I do have more, Muffin, but not for you right now. Okay, yeah, you can just stay with me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. This cat, I get in my replies on Twitter all the time. That's why I know the cat's name. And I'm just like, it's like, I, I forgot. I think that's what, I think that's what a Maine Coon looks like. Um, beautiful, beautiful cat. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, the next one is this package. Now, I'm pretty sure this one is from my friend, um, Kate, and... Poor Kate has been wanting me to open this box so bad for so long. And I was like, I will, like, she was like, you don't have to do it on video, it's fine. But I was like, I, I'll give you that. So, um, so it's been a minute since this one came to I mean, not as long as a lot of these other packages, but I know exactly what's in the box is the thing. So, 
Um, there's actually something else in the box that I did not know was in there, so I'm reaching for the note right now, but I saw it. Um, okay. So this present, she randomly contacted me and was like, I really want to send this to you. And I was like, you can't. Like, it. you'll see why when I get it out of here. But I was like, you actually can't. Like, abort, abort. And she was like, I really want you to have this. And I you'll see you'll see but anyway like I really appreciate that she uh, reached out to me and I wasn't like don't send that to me but I was like are like I are, are you sure because and this will be my first all of its kind too so it's very exciting Brooke I hope you love this blank girl she's from an artist called blank on Instagram I commissioned her for my birthday in 2022 I wasn't able to really bond with her so I hope she can make you smile she was originally on a leak body but I changed her to a jointed body for you thank you um I also gave her okay I'm not gonna and then I sent that text double that I had since you told me you only had one or two of the G1 boys. That's what I saw. Um, anyway, I hope this all gets to you safely. And here are some Polaroids of my babies. So this is from Kat. Um, yeah, so the My Little Pony text is in here. Anyway, we have some babies. Coco. Bola. Bola. Oh, my God. I, I'm such a sucker for tort Or uh, That's a calico. Um, almost tortoiseshell, but you can see the white. That makes it a calico. Uh, Dean, <laughs> Ellie, oh my god, I love that picture, and Luffy. Did you actually take these Polaroid, or did you print them on a Polaroid printer? Because if these were actual Polaroids, this is incredibly impressive. Like, this is a like, beautiful picture. Um, I love Polaroid people. They're so fascinating. They're so cool. I've never... This is Fujifilm, actually, so I'm just... If Polaroids is a word like Band-Aid, like this is a bandage. It's not by the Band-Aid brand. It might be, I don't know. Uh, but Band-Aid is a brand, <laughs> but it's become synonymous with the thing. Um, okay. <laughs> we have a little baggie of goodies real quick. So these are the things that are mysteries. We have one of those little, I think they were called Stitchlings or something, um, of Claudine. Cute. We have more more Pekko from Pokemon. Lego, by the way, if you can hear her, she's skulking around trying to find where the rest of that treat is. I'll give you some after the video, darling. I just don't want you to eat it too fast. And then we have a Lucario. This is really cute. What year is this one? Interesting. Um, very cute. We have a McDonald's one. We have... Sorry, I wanted to get to this rarity because she is so cute. I don't know what this one's from, but she's interesting. And then we have... Oh, what are these from? Because they're not the, they're not those five below ones, and they're, like, really interesting. I don't, I'm not familiar with these. Well, hello, daughter. You've made an appearance. This is very cute. I'm going to use it as a doll purse, probably. I mean, I think it is a doll purse now that I, no? I don't know. Cute. Do we have bracelet? No. <laughs> and then we have Flynn Rider. You want Flynn? <gasps> I agree. <laughs> and then we have... The Build-A-Bear Workshop little mini set. We have an Anna Animators doll mini set. We have this little cute baby. Child, more like. This little water bottle ribbon thing. That is cute. I've never thought of that as a doll accessory. That is adorable. And then, oh, it looks like that baby might have been a twin because we have another one. We have one of the books from the mini brands book series. Or is that? Yeah, this is one. These are so cool, by the way. So this is Lord of the Rings. I've never read this or seen the movies. Y'all thought it was weird that I haven't seen Titanic? Not this either. Haven't seen this. Haven't seen um, Harry Potter or read it or um, Twilight. I'm actively reading. I'm through. I think I'm like halfway through Catching Fire. Catching Fire is boring. <laughs> um, anyway, we have a road trip, so maybe we'll finally finish that. But I'm going to be editing this video, so I don't know. Uh, and then we have Stitch and ah, Stinky Daughter. <laughs> you guys stink breath, huh? You want to open my doll with me? Here. Okay, and then we have Tex, the Generation 1 My Little Pony, which is so cute. Hold on, I'm going to give Lego... Also, look at the condition this pony is in. Um, Kat has a beautiful collection of G1 boy ponies. Like, it's an amazing collection. It's so cool, and I'm excited because Kat is the person that I am going... Like, she's collecting Little Pet Shops and My Little Ponies, so I have a bunch of doubles, and I just don't want to be selling them and stuff. I'm just not... I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm also, it's not a free pass either because um, I can't give one to everybody. So if my friends are looking for them, I'm keeping them for that reason. Anyway, um, she said she was looking for them. So I'm excited to send her all of that. Um, I'm going to feed Leggy. All right, you guys. 
I was saying blank doll. Look at her. She loved it. Um, I was saying blank doll, so you don't know what it is, but this is going to be my first Blythe doll ever and a custom from the artist Scrumptious Delight Blythe, which I believe is the one who makes Emma Roberts's. Her name's Emma Roberts, right? There's several Emmas. Uh, Emma Roberts's Blythe doll. She's a doll collector. Um, that's what Kat told me. Um, so anyway, this one already has a cut here because my husband had to get into this package and make sure that, um, Kat said that sometimes this can get stuck to the face, so she wanted to make sure, um, that all was good. But anyway, let's, I had my husband do it because I didn't want to be spoiled on the doll or anything. Okay, I'm scared because <laughs> this is like, this is gonna be my friend's blood doll and it might cause a problem for me. And this is one of those custom ones that has like the sculpted um, facial expression too. And there's this little thing around the head, which I will be keeping. Okay, here she is. So um, to open the eyes, you pull this string. Ooh, okay, ready? I'm gonna be so careful. <gasps> it says book. And there's this like cute little charms. Is this a thing white people do? I know that there are strings, but I didn't know that people did little charms on them. How cute is that? Um, Cause I know how they work somewhat. Ah, okay. I opened it. I opened the eyes. Um, how do you lock them in or do you just, okay, here she is. So she has a pink wig on and oh she's so interesting this is like a very unique looking doll because she's so like heavily customized and she has that like realistic ish look to her also the body she's on is amazing it's an obitsu body of course and i have several dresses in this like sort of style too so uh but anyway she's doing like a wait <laughs> she is a pouter and oh wow she's prettier in person look she look like you pouty butt she has green eyes and a pouty butt. Just like you. Just like you. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, so now I always get comments about Blythe dolls and I'm like, I don't know. They're not for me. And the reason they're not for me is because they're so expensive. Um, so that's why this is so crazy. And this isn't just a Blythe doll, right? Like this is a customized one. I adore the eyes that she has I think they're like you spin them right like I swear there's something with the strings that you can oh she blinks and then you pull it and the eyes change right cat told me how to do it but I don't I don't want to break her I don't know how it works <gasps> ah, ah, the eyes changed oh my god that actually freaked me out okay <gasps> these eyes are like resin with little candies or something in them okay so how did that work I closed them and then I pulled the string more and it made a little sound and then I opened them. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I like those eyes. Wow, okay, I was scared that that was gonna be super traumatic, but it wasn't. It's a very interesting mechanism. It's actually really sweet, like mechanical toys like that. Um, Cause Blythe dolls originally, what are they from? Like the 60s, they're old. They've been around for a long time. And this is such a fascinating doll. And um, they're a lot heavier than I thought. I know she's on a Nobitsu body, but I mean the head is like really heavy. Um, so this is a really cool doll and she will be on display next to my computer like set up at my desk because it's all pink and it'll be the perfect little spot for her. I even have a little chair that I have designated for her already because I knew she was coming. Um, her wig is so soft. Sorry, I'm just like, it's my baby. I feel like this is one of those dolls that you just have to like protect, you know, this is my baby. And she's so cute. And I am so honored that you um wanted to share your birthday present with me uh, even though you didn't bond with her like this is still such a uh, like a big thing like something you commissioned um and I appreciate it so much she's absolutely beautiful um and I probably would never have gotten a hold of a Blythe doll otherwise unless I just chance like just fate provided one to me um and I guess in this case you are that fate um Thank you so much. She's so cool. I love how much blushing she has going on. She's so unique. I can't get over how the eyes work. I, I want to figure out how that works. I need to... Oh, there's four? Okay, those are the... Those are your, like, classic Blythe, like... Honestly, I kind of love those. Like, that's cute. <laughs> it, if you don't get it, you don't get it, and it's fine, but... 
the mechanism works so well. I've always thought, because I've heard people doing it, I swear it's loud, so maybe it's because this one's customized, but, like, it works so well. And her eyelashes are so, like, feathery, soft, too. This is an incredible doll. I can't believe I'm holding a doll like this in my hands right now. Uh, she even came with her extra hands and a cute little stand. Um, I recognize this stand from somewhere. Is this... I have some of these, I think, um, these stands. I don't remember what they are actually from, though. Um, and let me get her on the stand. And here she is on her little stand. She is such an interesting little doll. I'm gonna put her hair in little pigtails. I feel like little pigtails would suit her, but she does have these big, really cool, like, custom ears. Um, so I don't... Or maybe I could, like, do that. I don't know. She is now, like, she is a completely unique doll in my collection. I have no other dolls that look remotely like this. I also am very surprised at how big the head is, which is something... Because I just assumed they were similar in size to pull-ups, but they're absolutely not. Their heads are a lot bigger than pull-ups. At least I think. Maybe it's a, an illusion. I don't know. Um, but, wow. Well, you can get a sense for it right there. Thank you so, so much, Kat. So I knew about this already because Kat told me about this, so I wasn't, like, surprised. But it's so... <sighs> it's been, like, a month or two since, I think, since she sent this one. And I've just been... Like, I, I, it's like, it was Pandora's box a little bit. Like, I knew what was in there. Schrodinger's Blythe doll, that's what we're going with. So I was just like, <laughs> it was, it was intriguing. Um, and I am so, so grateful. And like, thank you. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so, so cool. And like, a custom doll too. Like, so cool. So cool. Thank you so much. Um, I want to put the Sasquatch pants on her. Should I put the Sasquatch pants on her? Sound off in the comments. Should I put the Sasquatch pants on the Blythe doll? Let me know. <laughs> okay, now we have our last package. Or no, we have two more packages for this video. Um, this one is absolutely enormous. And it is from my friend QB Collectibles. Um, who I, I assume will film videos together um, when she comes over. So you'll get to meet her in person too. But she actually has a YouTube channel that again, I love. She is the toy hunting beast. She is always on another toy hunt adventure. She has so many fun finds and like, check her out. For real, check out her channel. She is, she's like a delight. She's so fun. And we did a collab video last year when she came over too, but um, ended up not feeling good for most of it. So unfortunately, like I'm not really in them. But also she was the one who opened my Antu centaurs with me. I cut away because there was just so much tape on the box. So <laughs> um, it made more sense. These scissors are not good for opening boxes is the conclusion I've come to and they're not safer either. So. We'll go back. <laughs> anyway. In true QB... I, I can't remember if you use your first name on your channel or not. Uh, but in true QB style, everything's individually wrapped, which is so sweet. It's my cat's world. I just opened the tins. She's sitting in one of the boxes from one of you guys, staring at me, because she knows I have this. And she just really wants it. So, yeah. <laughs> um, dearest Brooke, I forgot to make a list of what I sent this time, so sorry. No problem. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the goodies anyway. You know there's always more coming, but I didn't want you wanting on these lovely gals slash pets. By the way, Kika Goods reached out to my partner and me, or to partner with me, and it wouldn't have happened without you. Oh, I didn't realize that was the context. Cool! That is so, so exciting. Okay, thank you to you, QB Collectibles. That's so cool. Kika Goods is amazing. I love Kika. Kika Goods, by the way, is an online shopping bot. They're, they're not involved in this video in any way, but, like, they're a Chinese uh, service that will ship you, like, products directly from China directly to you, and they have a really, really good shipping rate, and their prices are really competitive, and um, I'm about to have a, like, I have a partnership video coming up for a proxy service within China, and, like, I'm telling you, I... Even if I bought the things directly from Chinese sources and imported them directly like that... Kika Goods still does it cheaper, so, um, for those particular products, so I'm not showing those in that collaboration, to be clear. Um, I'm not just, like, dissing the other one, but I'm just saying, like, that's how good Kika Goods' deals are, so I love them. Anyway, this is not Kika Goods, this is about QB Collectibles, so let's just jump into it. I am very curious. So, QB goes thrifting all the time, and I get texts that are like, do you have this? <laughs> um, so there's little pet shops in here. Um, from those occasions. This is such cute packaging. I want to know what your, like, wrapping paper closet looks like. Uh, so we have a very cute little snail. So cute. And then 
a very cute little bee. This is Lola's Pet Shop Day for me because I am telling you, I spent so much time today on the Lola's Pet Shops. Um, this is one of the sticker eye ones. So cute. I have very few of the sticker eye pets because when I was younger, I didn't get it, but now I do and I like them. Uh, so it's a mission. And then we have this turtle one who's so cute. Ah, thank you. So um, QB lives in an area that has like I cannot wait till I go to that area and we just like get to hunt together. Um, it'll be amazing. I just, I dream of it. Um, but like, so cool. Okay. And then we have, oh, what is this? What are these? I love them. They're somebody's pets, right? MGA. Are these, they're not rats. Surely not. What are these? I have no idea. They're MGA. They're really cute. They're these little bug friends. We have one that's like a little... Are they like a water play toy? They're... This one's squishy. I have no idea, but I love them. Thank you for those. <laughs> um, we have this little box, which is so cute. I love keeping little box. Oh my god. So QB told me like, hey, are you looking for these? Because she found them on Facebook Marketplace. And I was like, yeah and i was like can i pay value and she's like no i'll just go get them um so i am eternally grateful um these are the brats i think they came with the itsy bitsy brats or whatever i don't know 100 percent their context but they are just brats's response to lil's pet shop brats and lil's pet shop were contemporary at the same time so um these are so funny to me and i really wanted them and i've never really expressed that one to, like out loud i mean maybe i have but not like it's not extremely well known i assume um but qb just was like these look up your alley and i was like they are um so i'm so grateful that you did this pickup so um let's just go through them with this little baby and i'm planning on doing a video with these in particular so i'm not going to dwell too much on them because i don't want to spoil anything this is a really funny way to do a hedgehog little special should have been on this that is better uh kitty poodle this is this is so funny it reminds me of like a ladybug or a beetle or something oh another one <laughs> and then a dog another dog an owl a little bird another little bird oh i have this little guinea pig that yeah i'll just put him up there next to the other one <laughs> Um, this little mouse, I'm gonna say. Little bear with honey, so cute. Uh, then we have a little monkey, a little elephant. Oh, this one's like sassy. I love the facial expressions on these. Ooh, the cow is interesting. And these came with little dolls, by the way. Lego is getting bold. Hi! <laughs> a koala bear. A, I don't know. Another bear. Monkey dog like he's like where are the cats and i'm like yeah another i don't know <laughs> fox probably sheep but sh like uh metallic which is cool this is a creature i have no idea <laughs> um i don't know this is a little dog i want to say uh oh my god okay that's probably the cutest one so far the goat the little doggy, the, I love how these fit so perfectly in there, the squirrel, and a little turtle. So those are my, oh no, it wasn't a two bits of brats, it was Lil, uh, Lil Angels, that's what they came with, right? It was Bratz Lil Angels. Um, I always just assumed they were their own line of just like weird Bratz pets or something, but no, they were just like extras with the Lil Angels, which I thought was really interesting. Um, and Lego is a Bratz girl, so she's like, hold on, there's Bratz Lil's pet shops you, you didn't tell me, mom? Thank you so much for picking those up for me. I, I love them. I'm so, so excited about those. And I really, really appreciate you reaching out to me about that. She just went, went so cross-eyed. That was so cute. Okay. And then next we have... I don't know. Oh, cute. Uh, this is a little, like, a newer Little's Pet Shop plushie. Ooh, that's wire articulated. That's cool. I don't know where this is from, but very cute. And um, I, I wonder how many of these have showed up in hauls. <laughs> um, and then we have... A Bratz Kids. I love Bratz Kids. I think they are so divine. These little babies. So cute. So I think these are just so, so cute. And in a lot of cases, I actually like them better than Bratz, which is funny. I don't have a whole lot of them. I just don't really find them for sale. And I don't know a lot about them. So I don't even know where to begin. Um, but I just, their faces are perfect. They're perfect. They're perfect. So 
Um, yay, another Brad's Kids for my collection. I'm very excited about that. Thank you. And then we have um, this. Oh yeah, this is cool. Okay, so I was gonna do a video about this like really cool lemonade set I got from this brand called Teeny Tiny's. I'm pretty sure this is that same brand. Let me see. Or it is, oh, I don't know if it was this brand. I thought it was. Uh, but anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the same brand. I got this really cool stuff from Five Below possibly, but I, or no, it was Ross. And I was like, I can't like replicate this find. So I don't want to like make a video about how cool this is and how everybody like, go get this. It's so cool. And then nobody can get it. So I, I haven't even unboxed it yet. Cause I'm just like, I don't know how to present this. Um, but this is a working little vending machine and you'll have to let me know where you got this because how cool. Oh my gosh. So cute. Lego is giving me the death stare behind the filming light right now. <laughs> um, okay. And then we have a doll, probably a brat by the shoes. So this is Forever Diamonds Chloe. I don't actually already have her, which is exciting because I love Forever Diamonds. I want that full set. It's weird how long it's taken me to get them. Um, she has a really cute skirt and I love her. I have the doll that comes with her exact same screening. So I was really excited that it was her, but it's not. It's like an ice skating doll or something. I don't remember. Um, that one's not on display, <laughs> but this one will be. Uh, and then we have, oh, to fuel my Sunny Madison problem, we have another Sunny Madison who has a haircut. So um, she will need to be customized for sure. Oh, she's an original series one. She does not have head tilt. Interesting. Okay. Oh, she's not original. She's, she's second release. We've left that in 2021. Thank you, Brooke. Late 2020, early 21. We're doing all that. Not right now. Um, but anyway, this is a second batch Sunny <laughs> from uh, series one. But anyway intriguing she needs a reroute and i need to do a reroute we'll see <laughs> it might be her it might be somebody else um okay next we have <gasps> ah! oh brats little angels so these are these really cute just brats babies that are just babier than baby um they're more like actually babies as opposed to the brats babies who are like they're not they're fashion doll babies, but these are baby babies. Um, and they are the ones that came with the pets, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is exciting. I have basically none of these, and I don't really have any with clothing. So, ah, thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. There is so much in this box. I knew about the the, the uh, itsy bitsy baby, uh, the little angel's pets. I don't know why I was like, on that. oh, cute. G6 Lowe's Pet Shop ladybug thank you these still show up at some dollar stores by the way uh which is really interesting um i feel bad that they flop so hard but it's because people want like the little bobblehead ones they don't want the minis uh but i like the minis i just wish that there were more bobbleheads <laughs> in those gems okay and then we have oh i think this is another brats yay oh my god cute so this is a little yasmin is this also yeah so these are both little yasmins from teeny Little Angels, Bratz Little Angels. Why do I keep, I want to call them Itsy Bitsy so bad. It's because I like the Itsy Bitsy name, but I know what Itsy Bitsies are and it's not these. Um, so cute. Watch me be right and they are Itsy Bitsies and that's why my brain keeps making me like, stop, say it, say it. Okay, there's a big thing on top right here. So, oh, it's another one of those vending machines, but this one is the beverage edition. God, this is cute. Okay, I'm excited to open these. We'll do like a YouTube short or something for these ones cute okay so those are teeny tiny's vending machine ah, these are neat i don't think they're from that company that i thought they were so i'm very intrigued now even more intrigued um i'm very curious where those came from or what the story is um and then we have oh my god okay i have one of these that my friend dean sent me years ago and that's my only one and i found one thrifting i'm pretty sure it was this one actually and i didn't get her and i've been regretting it it was years ago but i still think about it um and i watched the video to confirm and i was like yep i'm mad about it um but yay it's another one of those lisa frank dolls that came out around the time of brats can you tell i love the random doll lines that were like you guys like brats right uh, but these are pretty unique, but they're so cool. And I love their outfits because they're, they're Lisa Frank. So they have like really colorful looks to them, which wasn't super typical in the early 2000s, at least in doll lines. So, oh man, thank you. So, so cool. Hi friends, I've returned and I'm a new person because it's been about an hour. I needed to charge my phone. If it seemed like I was rushing in the last clip, it's because I was, because I knew my phone was about to die. Um, so anyway... We are back to QB Collectibles package now. 
I am so excited to see what else is in here. And we have one more package to get through too. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. Okay, let's kick off with this doll shaped one. Oh yes, okay. Urban energy, I think, Sty urban, ah, I forgot what this line was called, but um, QB found this doll at the thrift store and sent me a picture and was like, do you know what this is? And I was like, no, actually. <laughs> I had like a vague familiarity I thought I knew, but I didn't. Um, so I asked on Twitter and got my answer and I was like, those are gonna be my personality now. I really, really like them. Um, so, oh, they sing too? Oh, they light up. There's like a light up belly button ring situation. Ronaldo, hi. Well, what is it? <laughs> well, what is it? <laughs> you can sit here, but you can't be crawling on things. See, Lego's like polite. She walks around things, but Ronaldo's like, I'm going to walk on it. I'm going to sit on it, which is not, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Um, anyway, so, um, I really appreciate you picking this up for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Next, another doll shaped one. Yeah. I thought there were two of them. Okay. Cause don't these just, they look so familiar. She looks like Eris from, like, Greek mythology in every cartoon ever. Like, I immediately was like, that's the Billy and Mandy Eris specifically. Um, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, here is this doll. And they, aren't they so cute? Anyway, um, stay tuned until I get all of these. I will be a different person. I, I'm a very powerful person when I have all of those. Those dolls are really, really cool. And I learned something through the thrift stores that QB Collectibles goes to <laughs> by proxy. So, thank you so much. And then, uh, what's in here? <gasps> a bunch of little, oh my god, what are these? These are squinkies, right? Yeah. Okay, I can, oh my god, squinkies had hair? There's squinkies with hair. Um, here are a bunch of squinkies to add to my squinky world. And it's mostly the little people ones, which is pretty cool because I don't really have any of the people ones, of course, because I only have the reproduction ones. And these are the originals. Uh, so I can directly compare them now and stuff. And... Yeah, you've definitely, like, doubled my Squinky collection here because I originally just had, like, random ones that I got uh, occasionally in, like, bags with other things in thrift stores. <laughs> so I thank you. Um, and then we have... Oh, oh my gosh. I remember she sent me a picture of a store. I think it was FYE with a bunch of Godzilla merch. And I was like, oh my god, that's so funny. Um, and I guess she got me these socks. So we have a Godzilla one, and it says Earth's Fury. And then Mothra says, gentle giant. I feel like we could have gone with something better for Mothra. Um, and then we have King Ghidorah. No, nothing to say about King Ghidorah. Rodan. <laughs> I am definitely wearing these to New York. And Mechagodzilla. <laughs> oh my god, I know these are going to be comfortable. Because they're new and fresh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I've gotten new socks. Because I just wait until new cool branded ones come out and I buy them. <laughs> Anyway, then we have this one, which it's an, oh my god, this one has wings. I knew there were little winged ones, so another little angels. Literally a little angel with the little fairy wings. Little angel wings, we'll call them, because they kind of look like the little brats' wings that they like to do for, um, you know, angel. Um, cute. Cute. Oh my god, I love this one. I think this is Dana, maybe, or Megan? I don't know, because the hair is brown, but also slightly reddish. Uh, please forgive me, you Dangan. <laughs> um, and then, I've been dancing around this because this whole time I've known what it is, because I can tell. And I remember now that she sent me a picture of this one. This is the live in concert Chloe styling head. And I'm really excited to fix this one, because I think it would be a fun video. And, like, especially with other Bratz things that I'm fixing, I think this would be, like, really fun to fix with it. Oh, she's, like, really sparkly. And isn't she cool? So you don't have to, like, do that, you know? <laughs> um, you can really tell how big my cat is when you look at him next to a styling head, right? Sorry, I don't want to, like, banish him, but he's also doing things that are anti to this video, but he's a character, and you don't normally get to see him, so I'll let him stay. Actually, you get to see him a lot, because he's very, uh, <laughs> he wants to be in the videos, uh, but anyway, gorgeous, and, uh, she's missing, like, her bangs, like, they were cut off, uh, but we'll figure it out, and thank you so much for picking this up for me. You got a good deal, five bucks. I, I miss savers so much. I can tell it's savers, and then we have 
something in a hard case. Rainbow high magnetic activity. Hold on. Don't bite me. I know you want attention, bud, but like not now. Give me a second. <laughs> um, oh my God. They're like magnetic paper dolls. Oh, this is fun. And it's specifically Skylar and Sunny. I have not been keeping up to date with the Rainbow High merch lately just because I haven't really been seeing it. Like, I don't know. And when I was up to date with it, I was searching like newly listed stuff on Amazon and Walmart.com regularly in order to find it. Like, it's a gauntlet. Um, but I have like a really impressive Rainbow High collection in terms of the merch, which is unusual for any of my other collections. So this is very exciting. Well, Winx too, but I've been really trying with Winx too. Um, anyways, thank you, QB. That's so exciting. I did not know this existed. Um, that is so cool. And then, by the way, fun fact, QB stands for Queen Bean. Queen Bean's collectibles. <gasps> what? This is a thing? They make... This is a little individually packaged thing of accessories for Tiana from Mattel's Disney Princesses. How cute. Is it like a... I don't think it's a mystery. I think it comes with what it says it does. It's just packaged like this because of the stores that it's sold in probably. How cute. It even shows it on the doll that I already have. Cool. Okay. I love that. I'm not sure if I want to unbox it or if I want to leave it like this because this is just such a unique thing. Uh, this is so cool, but like, you can totally, well, you can't, the light coming through this is letting me see it. And now Leggy's here. Hello. What's up, you guys? Ooh, big girl. Yeah, you can sit with me. You just, don't start pulling what Ronaldo's pulling. You can sit down. <laughs> and then we have, this is jingly. Oh, it's squinkies. And the little coins that go to the playset too. Are these Barbies by chance? Are there Barbie Squinky? It totally is. There's a... Well, I don't know if it's Squinky's... Br it is. They're in Squinky's balls. I did not know there were Barbie Squinkies. I know nothing about Squinkies. This is one of those doll... Like, not doll lines. Toy lines that I know very little about. Uh, so this is really, really cool. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, my God. QB is so... Like, the amount of thrifting she does, she just finds so much cool stuff and, like genuinely introduces me to stuff which is hard to do i say that a lot but like it's hard to introduce me to something new because i will at least have some vague knowledge of most things um okay what is i don't know if i told her but i've been like really looking for these so this is from five below i mean maybe maybe she got it somewhere else um but there is monster high pre-mixed slime at five below stores um and i've been looking for it for months at like multiple five bloods and I have not been able to find it. It's been driving me crazy. And she sent me the Cleo one. Yay. I really wanted this because like, I'm, I don't know really anything about slime. Like I haven't, I don't have experience with it or anything. Hello. Hello, sneaky biggie. <laughs> um, but I just think this is such a weird piece of merchandise for Monster High. Like yeah, Monster High slime. <laughs> um, so I really wanted it. And now I have it. Also it has this G3 art, which you don't really see on merch. Um, well, depends. It's G3 merchandising in general is very weird. I see. I wonder if this is what Ronaldo's been after too. <laughs> no, she's just sniffing around. She doesn't realize it's in there. Okay. And then we have two more things, I think. Another Rainbow High merch. How are you finding these things? Like, I didn't know this existed either. Cool. And it's, it's the same girls. And they're from the same company too. This is so interesting. So this is the Sunny and Skylar fashion designer. Create your own fashion look. So these are paper dolls again. Um, these are real paper dolls this time. Like you can actually do it. Um, so are the magnets, but like there are ra paper doll Rainbow High products that are not paper dolls. And it's like, um, but this is actually paper dolls. Oh my God. And they're so cute. I love that the hair and stuff is so big that they couldn't make it work without cutting holes. Like you can see they cut holes in them. So exciting! I love this sort of thing. Paper goods type merch is just so fun to me. I don't know. I think it's so cool. Okay, and then there's a big thing. Wow. Shadow High merch! Whoa! Oh my god. Yeah, I didn't find like any Shadow High merch. I don't know if they just didn't make it or if I just wasn't looking hard enough. Look how cute! There's a Sunny and Luna sticker. I think that's what that is. And then this Shadow High. Oh my god. And it's the ultimate fashion designer. It's got a sketchbook for both sides. It's got stickers. 
Oh, wow. This looks so fun. I think those are scratch-offs or something. Sorry, I had to remove the cats from the premises. I mean, they're still in the room. They could come back, but I was like, I had to escort them out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is really cool. And, oh, these are stencils. I'm stupid. I was like, are those like cool, like edgy stickers? No. <laughs> um, but this, this is so cool. Ah, I want to open this, but I won't because it's my like one specifically branded Shadow High thing. Well, I have, there was like a Shadow High locker, right? I don't think I have that one though. I have the Rainbow High version, but like, that is so cool. Oh my God. Okay. Thank you so much to QB Collectibles. I can't wait to see you <laughs> in person and I'm so sorry that this took so long. Also, I'm so sorry if you've been missing your tape because I found it. Um, so thank you. I will be using this. <laughs> or leave me a comment if you would like to have it back and you can have it back when you come over. <laughs> no hard feelings, but I'm always looking for tape. So <laughs> anyway, um, now we have one more package. We also have a very curious Lego Star Wars 2 um, in front of us. So this package is from my friend Ray, Dalmod Maven, and she sends packages for a lot of these videos. And I suspect this one was for Halloween for some reason. I don't know where I got the idea that maybe this one was Halloween related. Um, I am so, so sorry. I don't want to get into it too much because it would be... Uh, well, some of it's like too personal, but also the other part of it, the reason that I didn't, um, in addition to the personal stuff, there was also something where I felt like publishing the like ads of people who were sending me things would cause them to be targeted in a situation. So I just was trying to remove that from the situation. So I was like, okay, I'll save everything for Christmas. And then I got very sick. So that's, that's what's going on. <laughs> um, so I, I sincerely apologize. Um, going forward, we will abs I will do my absolute best to really make sure these always um, come out a lot more consistently when the packages come because it's not really fair to you guys that you have to wait this long um, because you sent me stuff and I know it's a gift to me and I have no real like I my obligation to show it is because like a, a an obligation in my like a moral obligation I guess in my eyes because you went through the trouble of sending me something and you wanted to see it on camera, you know, but um, I know that these are gifts and they there are no strings attached in that way, but um, I do feel like I absolutely have that responsibility and I like blow it a little bit when I'm super, super late on these things. So uh, again, like, I sincerely apologize and like it is so thoughtful to theme these after holidays and you know what? I love Halloween. So even though this is now not Halloween at all, it's Halloween again in my house and I love that. Anyway, hi Brooke, I have been setting doll things aside for you for months, so I thought it was time to send you another box. Since I tried to send you boxes around Halloween, since I tend to send you boxes around Halloween, I embraced it and made it a boo box. I included some items we talked about and some surprises. See, we talked about that, but what was it? Um, I have always have so much fun packing up gifts for doll friends. As always, love your content and you. Happy Halloween from Ray. So this is again from Doll Mod Maven. She is a doll content creator on TikTok now. Um, I, she also posts pretty consistently on Instagram too. And she also sells extras from her collection. She has a ridiculously huge collection. I am just awaiting the day she makes like a full YouTube tour of her room so I can make it like my desktop background and I mean like not a picture of it I mean like the video I think that that would be so interesting she is so <laughs> uh Leggy's interested too she's like made that video <laughs> um but it's just so like her collection is amazing y'all she has videos where you can see it on her TikTok just the the way the room is laid out and everything it's amazing if you think my collection is impressive look <laughs> um so I will link her in the description, of course, just like everybody else in this video. So everything's so good. Oh my god. Thank you so much for theming this and like making it like a special Halloween thing. I'm so October just was not a time that I could like emotionally or like physically like make a video. Um but I, I made some videos obviously at that time, but not anything that was this much like um sitting and talking for an extended period of time um so i'm so sorry um ah, okay i remember this so she told me that she had create a monster parts to um that were extras and asked me if i needed any and i pointed out the ones because i loved create a monster as a kid and or i was a teenager but you know like i was like 12 13 14 you know 
Um, but I loved them. And the thing about them was I was also a member of like Monster High forums and like looking on Instagram and seeing what other people were doing. So I was fe feeling really inspired to like customize them and make them like truly my own, cr truly create my monster. Cause I was frustrated that truly if you were doing create a monster, there wasn't a whole lot you could actually create because it was like the dragon is the dragon one. Like, yeah, you can mix some of the parts and make like a dragon cat, I guess, but there's not much you can do. Um, and I wanted to maximize the amount of dolls I had. So I just kind of did the base looks. So I started like trying to repaint them and at some point I was like I hate their eyebrows and I still kind of do because they all have really dark bold eyebrows which doesn't go with all of the hair that you might want to do on them um but I see why they did that because it just needed to be something pretty general um but I removed the eyebrows from my dragon girl so um I was I was so grateful that Ray reached out and like offered to send some of these because mine were destroyed by my antics <laughs> um and then we also have the mummy girl because mine is actually i didn't do anything to her like i actually didn't but for some reason she has a huge stain on her head which sucks um and then this i cut the t <laughs> i was so into these dolls i cut the ties off of this and then these go to the boy that i don't have i don't have any of the boy ones and then these are bodies so Oh my god, this one is so funny. So this doll, I actually have, but, and I didn't do anything to her, but mine did not come with the eyelashes or the eyebrows painted on, and I was like, what is up with this doll? Why don't I like her? Or, like, I liked her, but I was like, why is she so weird? And then I finally realized, like, it took me that long to realize it, it was so funny, because I just, like, you would just assume that's intentional at that point. I think she had some of the, I think she might have had her eyelashes, but she absolutely did not have the eyebrows. Um, and I still have her, and I love her. I, I drew on her with pencil, because she has really hard plastic, and I really liked her, um, and I still do, but, uh, now I have one that actually has her paint. It's so funny that I got a defect like that. And then this is an extra body for the werewolf one, which again, very, very grateful. I, a lot of my creative monster heads actually don't have bodies. So this will come in handy because I have some like random bootlegs I put on their bodies. I have like other creative monsters, of course, because not all creative monsters came with a body. Th there's a lot. So, um, thank you so, so much for, um, sending those. I really appreciate it. You're saving my Creator Monsters. I, I'll show them someday. Um, I'm not brave enough because they're pretty bad. Um, <laughs> but I'll, I'll show them someday. Okay, then we have this one with a little pumpkin sticker. It's so cute. I'm just not a person who can wrap things cutely. Like, I, I try. I really do. <laughs> Okay, but like me, when I'm mailing something to someone, I'm like running, like I'm rushing out the door to get it in time before the post office closes on the day that you absolutely, like the last possible day that it could maybe in theory get to it by the time like you need to, like I just can't with mailing stuff. <laughs> okay, so first we have this red mermaid tail, which we did discuss this one. I can't recall if this was Melody's or not. I think it is, right? Um, Very, very cute. Yay! Okay. I think it was Melody's, or at least it can be a good stand-in for Melody. I can't remember what we talked about. And then this is a Sweet Seams doll, and I know they're labeled, like, what they are. I know you can tell somehow. Um, oh, yeah, this is Tiana. Oh, my God. Okay. I figured it would be one of these two, honestly, but I guess it's showing everybody. I mean, is it really Tiana? That's a water lily. I have to imagine it is. Yay! So, if you don't know, these are, like, a really unknown line of dolls actually I think unless Garrett Sander had posted about them because I think either he worked on them or one of his friends at Moose worked on them um but he posted about these and I fell in love with them but I never saw them for sale or anything other than online but I wanted to find them in person and then they just kind of went away um but they are so cute and I have the Rapunzel one who was a Christmas present from Look and Bratz actually which is cool um oh there's an Elsa but she's a limited edition Make, make like Mickey a limited edition. Why not? I don't want him. I want her. Um, but anyway, ah! oh, look how cute Ariel is. I am really, really excited to get Tiana out of here. You guys know I love Tiana and another one for my Tiana shrine. So I have Rapunzel and Tiana. Those are my two favorites. Um, and then we have, cause Elsa and Anna aren't princesses. So they're queens. Okay. And then we have, oh, a little, little witch squishmallow, cute cam okay <laughs> adorable very soft oh my god uh was not expecting how soft that was um and then we have okay oh yeah these are the um god what were these these were barbie cats right 
Yeah, they're marked Mattel 2002. That doesn't necessarily mean they're Barbie, but I think they are. Um, these are... When, it's crazy how long it took me to actually make that Barbie cat video because this was well before that video ever came out. Uh, but these are so very, very cute cats from Mattel. I assume they're from Barbie and they're extremely cute. I love their eyes. Cute. I think that's right. Let me see. Yeah, they're, yeah they gotta be Barbie. They feel just like how... Um, why am I blanking on their name? The dog, Taff. Taffy's the new dog. Oh my god, Tanner. Um, that feels just like how Tanner is blah blah. Well, that doesn't necessarily mean it's Barbie. It's like we know it's Mattel already from looking at him. Um, but anyway, cute. Lego. Are you seeing double? Well, yeah, but are you, are you seeing yourself in them? She's like, why are you collecting idols of me? <laughs> You're worshiping false idols. That's that's what I would say. Okay. Then we have this one with a little lollipop on it. Oh. oh my god! Again, I was just looking at little sweatshops earlier, and I put these on my little, like, screenshotted list of pets I'll never reference again. Yeah, I have my second phone, which is just my phone that I had before this one that the microphone doesn't work on anymore, so I just use it as, like, a phone when my other phone is doing something. So, like, if this phone is charging, I can work on my little pet shop shelves with my other phone. It's really handy, actually. Um, it's really cool when you don't catastrophically destroy your other phone, so you can actually use it for things. Um, but anyway, there's, like, an endless screenshot graveyard on there of little pet shops that I want, because every time I work on my little pet shop shelves, I use that phone, because <laughs> I'm usually doing a time lapse or something, and, which is also amazing, by the way. I can record a time lapse on this phone and use that. It's great. Um, so these are in my screenshot graveyard. And they even have their little outfits. So this is one of the Blythe Loves Little's Pet Shop sets. Look, it's your mother. <laughs> oh my gosh. These are so cute. I was like, I really want these, but I really want their outfits. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them with their outfits secondhand. So thank you, Ray. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. What is this? something packaged maybe oh <laughs> oh my god it's original littles pet shops so when i say original littles pet shops often i'm referring to the original hasbro littles pet shops but if you didn't know littles pet shop was a brand by kenner kenner was bought by hasbro because hasbro wanted that star wars license that kenner had i suspect um but <laughs> They had Little's Pet Shop first, and I have memories of these from, from when I was a kid because I had a friend who, like, had horses. She had a really interesting life, but she had this whole, like, amazing toy collection in a room, and it's really, like, stuck with me my whole life. Um, I still think about it because <laughs> it was so magical, and I think about the dolls and stuff that she had, um, which mostly were, like, 90s Barbies because she just had her sister, her older sister's collection, it seemed, um, that was passed on to her. But she had, like, a lot of new stuff. She had a ton of groovy girls. Those were big at the time. She had the, like really cool like more modern barbie houses stuff like that uh but anyway she had little pet shops and i was always confused by what they were but she had like the zoo sets and stuff so i'm always like i'm very fond of these um but this is specifically i think it's called the kitty condo right it's a little kitty set so yeah and it's so funny because look where the bobble blah, 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 where the bobble thing came from there's even one mouse right? And the little calico one. And they all have little medals on as well. Not collars, medals. So cute. I love that they come with their little homes. How cute they are. Thank you, Ray. Oh my god. What's this one about? Look, this one has a little like marble or something going on. I don't know. Probably whatever gimmick that one had. Interesting. Most of my older little spot shops, just because I don't see myself ever building, like, a big collection of them, I end up gifting them to my friend, QB Collectibles. <laughs> she she collects them, has a, like, specific interest in them, so I've been, like, gifting a lot of mine to her. Um, but these are mine. Thank you. Cats? Mine. Also, if I ever find that zoo set that my friend had, mine. That will never part with me. <laughs> um, or I will never part with that. I guess both work. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my God. Okay. My own little spot shops. Okay. And then we have is like intriguing oh it's a little mystery squad squish ball. i've actually never had one of these before they're like blind packaged ones and they're like mini plushies and they have little houses and stuff it's really interesting thank you okay i get to experience one of those now <laughs> and then we have a little blister package something it's pez i love pet this candy is so good i'm 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm like really excited to eat this during my road trip tomorrow. I love it. Okay. It's a little ghost one and a cherry raspberry lemon. Those raspberry pez are like, I wish that they would just sell that in a giant bag. So like, a, like and I mean like the size of those uh, bootleg cocoa pebbles that taste exactly the same that you can get at Walmart that are so good. Um, that, but the raspberry pez and I would eat them like cereal too. I would just... <sighs> Eating cereal is more in a bowl with milk, but I just kind of, unless it's Cocoa Pebbles, that's with milk. Um, yay! Oh my gosh, thank you. And I will be enjoying that in the month of March. And then we have this rectangle. I'm so scared I'm going to talk over that doll. Um, oh my god. We will save this one for Halloween, maybe. We'll save Oh my god, cool. Sorry, this is one of those ones I've had on my, like... I have a wish list that involves, like, dolls that I've specifically looked at and been like, okay, I really like that one. Um, So there's, like... And that's just a running list in my head. And then I have a wish list that's, like... Th these are the ones I'm actively hunting for. And then I have a wish list that's, like, every single doll that I don't already have. So... <laughs> Um, this was tier, well, not the second tier that I said, the first tier that I said, but that's, like, tier two, I guess. Um, but, oh my god, yay! Thank you! This one I specifically wanted because of the sleeves. Just to be clear, like, you guys know how I feel about big bell sleeves? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, thank you, Ray! How cute is this little spider up here, by the way? That is so cute. Oh, but I really love her packaging. Look at her cute face. I'm worried this one is from Glucy Pajera, so she might have to come out of the packaging to save her. 2008, it's cutting it close. I mean, normally you can tell on the cardboard if there's Glucy Pidge, but if she has a plastic cat, no, you can't. And it says glittering webs and a pink hat so sweet. Cast a magical spell for this Halloween treat. This is so sweet. Thank you. And if you can hear that, Lego is digging in the tissue paper. Mama. Oh, I scared her so bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Lego was digging in the tissue paper, if you can hear that, and I had to kind of scooch her away again because that's probably annoying <laughs> and then this is heavy um we have this which is so cutely wrapped look at this you didn't just wrap it in tissue paper which is already adorable but you wrapped it in two different ones and did like a design how do you even do this with i mean i know like objectively how to do this with tissue paper how do you even come up with this that is so cute because it makes it look like there's like a ribbon oh my god I, feel, I honestly like i've always been like this i feel bad unboxing things like this because it's like harming the work that went into packaging it all cute My darling cat surprised me today. A newborn kitten, let's cuddle and play. More to love. My darling cat just did that. Whatever, Whatever's going on over there. Um, surprised me with kitten number two. Anyway, um, yeah, I know the commercial jingle. Oh, mama, a fourth kitty arrives. Anyway. <laughs> This is now my third kitten style Barbie, and no, that is not a problem. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> this, if you don't know, is my favorite Barbie cat. I made a whole video about it. A whole video. Um, <laughs> and I have a new in box Barbie cat collection because of that video, because of the problem that that video caused for me. That video is a historic flop on my channel. Like, it's actually embarrassing how bad that video did so um, i'm just gonna shamelessly plug it i put so much heart and soul and effort into that video um and i'm sorry if it sucked or something i don't know what happened to that video it's like um <laughs> but anyway um check it out if you're interested i'll link it in the description <laughs> to make it easy for you and if i didn't just search barbie cats there cannot be that many videos about barbie cats on the internet <laughs> because <I> <laughs> anyway um Oh, I shouldn't have shaken it around, probably. Um, so there's a few things loose because some of the stuff was attached with rubber bands, but you know what's not loose? Mama with fourth kitty inside and three babies. And now I can put this on display. Thank you so much, Ray. Oh my God. 
this is so thoughtful because especially at, around this time the the barbie cats were rolling in and i was like specifically doing all this i didn't know she originally came with that little tag which i love if you watch my holiday barbie like video yeah like i love those little tags i find them so charming thank you so much so cute oh i'm so excited so i don't have like any dolls in box from this era that, that i've kept in box anyway um so this is just such an exciting thing to add to a new inbox collection um because it especially because it even proud mama and her kittens it's like a dagger to the heart and now i can kind of say that i have all of the little accessories because that's all that i'm missing because i bought two sets um thank you so much you are so thoughtful for this and what a fitting conclusion to this video where you guys were firing arrows into my heart <laughs> at 3 a.m well i don't even want to know what time it is right now i think i started at one anyway <laughs> that's it for this video thank you so so much to everyone um for watching this video for watching my videos in general for giving me this platform and just giving me these opportunities in general i really really love dolls and it's it means so much to me that um doing this means something to you guys too and it is so just so you know like yes of course receiving material possessions makes me happy obviously i'm a very materially driven person i love material things <laughs> of course um that's what this channel's about um but just comments even if you're like too shy to comment because i'm one of those people i rarely comment on videos you don't see me around and it's not because i don't support other creators or something it's because i just don't comment like i'm scared i have anxiety around it i don't know um if you see me commenting that's like a that's an interesting situation like that means i was so moved <laughs> that i had to comment um but anyway um it's so special and like just just being able to talk to people about dolls in general is so cool to me because i feel like this i, I say this in every single one but my cats are doing things um i say that in every i don't think i say that in every single one i think y'all are particularly naughty today i think it's because of the time i think it's because it's like four three or four a.m i think they're, they get fed in like an hour by their automatic feeder um anyway i feel like doll collecting is such an isolating hobby and i hear that from a lot of doll collectors like oh i don't know any other doll collectors i've never spoken to another doll collector i've never hung out with another doll collector um and when they find like online communities it's really exciting because it's like oh there are other ones <laughs> and it's not that weird um so it's really cool to have that and i've been very fortunate that ever since i started collecting dolls i was posting it online and even though my audience was obviously very very small or i just didn't have one at the time i was still getting interactions associated with it and that's like a really really cool thing that i have and i really really appreciate it and it's such a s integral and special part of the hobby for me and um thank you to you for giving me that and uh so to be clear like again like, this sort of thing of course like i it makes me like feel very like loved and appreciated but so do comments and so do likes and whatever you know um i uh, <laughs> um i don't even know what to say after this one like <laughs> um just thank you <laughs> uh i i still have more packages to get through uh and i'm honestly kind of scared because of the amount of, like there these packages are always extremely thoughtful even if you like these packages and notes and stuff like just sharing like a bit of your life with me in this sort of way is so like personal and like putting yourself out there like that and reaching out is so like i know how hard that is um for me anyway <laughs> so it, it really does mean the world to me and i'm so so grateful and you guys are so thoughtful and sweet and thank you for always sending me pictures of your cats and for acknowledging my sasquatch pants i hope that I hope that you love my Sasquatch pants because they're not going anywhere. I love them. I love them. By the way, if you like my Sasquatch pants, they're from a brand called Lazy One or the Lazy One, Lazy Ones. I don't know. And I got them in Gatlinburg, Tennessee when I was there visiting my stepdad's family. Not that they're from there. They do a family reunion thing every or like very infrequently, but I, I'm i technically kind of almost part of that family. So they can't say I can't come. <laughs> so I get to go ziplining too. Um so 
that's where I got my Sasquatch pants. So, <laughs> um, I love them. So there was like a whole store full of pajama pants and there was Sasquatch pants. Um, um, but like y'all are, thank you. I've made so many wonderful friends and even people that I haven't like formed a friendship with or anything. So I'm, I'm not only am I very busy, but I'm also a very like anxious person if you can't tell. Um, I assume you can't. People do not read me as um, anxious at all. Um, but because I'm loud, I guess. Um, but like, I, I'm genuinely like scared of opening my DM sometimes. So like, it's kind of hard to get a hold of me sometimes. But like, <laughs> um, commenting is honestly your best bet. Because I at least I read all the comments. I, well, I say that and then I'll go back to comments on older videos and be like, I never saw these comments. And I feel like a monster now because I want to respond to them. So I at least try to read the comments. I, they, they're, they're a lot more frequent than they used to be, but, um, or like a lot more frequent. So I can't get to them all. I try, I'm trying a lot harder lately. I hope that that has yielded something for you if you've been commenting. Um, but anyway, I'm, I'm just going to ramble forever, but thank you so much <laughs> to everyone, um, for everything. And that's where we'll leave it. Anyway, uh, in about 12 hours, I have to make a very, 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 very long drive to the airport to fly to New York. So I will see you guys when I'm there. This this video most likely will be there, will be uploaded when I'm at an event in New York. Like that's when it will go public. So yay. <laughs> or maybe I'll put it slightly before so I can actually see y'all's comments. <laughs> Bye. Psych. I couldn't end the video without showing you the art pieces up closer because the... I'm I'm a very like... I find something that's like the perfect present for you and send it to you like I'm very like picking things in that way but people who make things for other people are on like another level of humanity like you are you are ascended is what I'm trying to say I don't know um so I wanted to show you these up closer so they're just <laughs> look at my darling it really captures her goofy face oh my god so yeah there's the tour alive from Noah. So good. And then the Lego from, I can't remember if I was supposed to say um, this person's name, so I won't. Um, and then the Sasquatch pants and shirt from Nikki. Ever after high loves. I love it. I love it. I love it. Tora is so cool. And then the Blythe doll. That cat set. I know the artist of this did not make this for me. This was a commission, but um, I just wanted to show that up closer because look how cool. Also, the strings. Hold on. You have to see the strings. You have to see the strings. Hmm. I don't know how to show them to you. Hold on. There it is. How cute is that? Oh, I love that I unintentionally made her half blink. I didn't think of that as a possibility. That is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, just like a specific special like shout out and love to the artists and the artistry because it's such a like I, I was trying I was literally like I sent a birthday package to my friend the other day and I couldn't I kept trying to draw a little picture to include because they always do and they always encourage me to draw more. Um, so I tried <laughs> and I did like five just starts and I was like I can't I actually can't I cannot will my like I can't um I don't have the confidence I don't have the courage to do it I don't know <laughs> um so like there's just something about doing that that I respect so much if that makes sense <laughs> I don't know um yeah okay for real thank you <laughs> oh mama a fourth kitty arrives